Ooh, hello, folks. Where are you? I only four. That's not too bad. Uh, hey, Dan. I hope you're well. Flatly. Shkoi. I hope you're good. What's going on, folks? Um, nice emote you got there, Flatly. That's yours, right? Very nice. I like the artwork. Um, so, Sky, thankfully you're only joking. I would be uh, astonished if the uh, the reptilians were paying any attention to me. Um, and you would be the last person I would think would be the reptilian spy, which obviously makes you the ideal candidate, right? Um, so, who, who knows? Who knows? And then obviously I would think, well, if that were the case, you definitely wouldn't allude to the fact but then it's like the double bluff isn't it oh he, he joked that he was a reptilian spy so therefore he's definitely not and it, he's like that's what we want you to think isn't it <laughs> how are you doing sir i hope you're good um what's going on in the world all right yes yeah, so um fallout london was released today i had a little look at it it's um it's so because it's brand new and there's like hundreds, thousands of people like kind of downloading it and trying to install it at the minute. And there's a bit of convolution about getting it to work, which is understandable considering the circumstances. So I've not been able to install it. I, th I thought I was on the way earlier, uh, which is well, I'm a little bit later than uh, I would like to be today. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a convolution. Um so it's it's hosted on uh good old games so first i had to create a cat an account on good old games step one then i had to uh download the mod okay cool step two that's done step three however is because of what i was telling you about the um uh, a couple of months ago the recent brand new update for fallout 4 that wrecked everything um i you have to do a downgrade patcher on it um to uh make you know to make sure you've got the right version of fallout 4 that's actually going to work properly um so i was in the middle of running that um and i left it going while i was in the shower and he made like no progress <laughs> so looking on the discord there's loads of different people having loads of different issues with it um so i was like fuck this you know let's i'll worry about this at the weekend because we don't need it right now worry about it the weekend and hopefully things were smoothed over a little bit and it is working probably <clears throat> i'm doing good i'm doing good uh flatly probably probably uh i don't know probably a bit of both probably <laughs> uh i mean whatever whatever they want to do but <laughs> i don't know um so it's um it's been an issue i'll mention message heather and I was kind of like, after that happened, I was like, oh, fuck, is Heather going to be, not, not that she, I would assume, but she might be like super eager to play it. And she's even less technically minded than I am. And she might have been like, oh, isn't it? Help me install this. And I was like, I, <laughs> I, can't, I, I don't have time right now, Heather. And also, I haven't even done it myself. So, but no, yeah, she got back to me on Steam and was like, oh, actually, um, I'm not that excited to play it right now. I want to watch you play it first on on stream. And then I'll play it afterwards. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Because I explained to her that, you know, it's a bit of a technical mess at the minute. I mean, it's not a mess. It's just there's a lot of convoluted steps. For example, if you buy the game through good old games, you don't have to do the downgrade off. That, that is kind of part and parcel. Um... But I'm not paying to own a get, buy, buy a game that I already own on Steam, right? But if you have it on Steam, you have to do the downgrader. Uh, and apparently the automated downgrader is having some issues for some people at the moment, including me. Um, now, you can also do the downgrade manually as well, apparently. Uh, and there's it, just a lot of technical stuff that needs to be done. Or, I'll, you know, I'll have to wade my way through. Um before we got it up and running but it doesn't matter because of course we're in the middle of spyro year of the dragon right now we're apparently 56 percent of the way through uh it seems like a lot of percentage to finish up today but who knows um but yeah i mean possibly tomorrow if not today right which would give me opportunity to hopefully get fallout sorted out over the weekend at some point and then good to go with a fresh week or start on monday that would be 
ideal. Is it going to work out that way? I don't know. We shall see. Um, <clears throat> as as you should, flatly. As you should. It's a slight guess in here. He's, he's the wordplay master. <laughs> I'm, I'm just an amateur. Um, so, yeah, exciting times, but also, you know, it's not just like... But I think... Uh, We'll put it to give you some con con context. How many people right at this moment are trying to download and install and get up and running Fallout London? Probably a few thousand at least. Maybe maybe two, three thousand, four thousand people are literally in that process as we speak. How many people are actually playing the game right now? Probably not that many. That's that's kind of where it's at. It's working. But people, people are kind of like having to fight their way get to get it up and running. <laughs> so if I leave it a couple of days, it's only going to make that process a bit easier. Uh, Red Mage, how's it, sir? What's going on, matey? I hope you're good. Um, they are. Uh, I mean, this literally. If you look on their Discord, there are they have like um, what you call it um. All sorts of uh, uh, bug reports and uh, questions and solutions channels. And the, the Discord channels are popping off. There's just people posting everything, also asking all sorts of questions, posting all sorts of screenshots saying, why why is it doing this? Why doesn't this work? How do I resolve this? Um, Yeah, it's, um, I'm just looking at it now. <laughs> right, I need to make a note of this. So the thing I saw, there's like five people who are like, what is this issue? Disabling Steam Guard. Like that's, I mean, and to be fair to the, the, uh, the creators, they're, uh, for them to be so, like doing, trying to do, um, troubleshooting and uh, technical support. It's not necessarily their job, and they're all over it. But yeah, have you ever heard of a thing called Steam Guard? I guess it's some kind of like firewall thing in Steam that stops other other programs doing stuff with it. Um, I've never heard of it. That's the thing that I might have to do later. Who knows? Who fucking knows? We'll see. Um, <clears throat> good, Red Mage. I'm glad. I'm also good. Cannot complain. It's pissing it down here today, but it's still got that. It's still got that. Uh, that temperature. So um, there's not too much more to uh, report. Not not too much going on yesterday. I don't think. Um, I need to jibber jabber about. Um. All oh, right, yeah, of course, fucking. There's so much I can say about what is uh, <laughs> going on in the world, but let's 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 not. Apart from, did Joe Biden actually die? Have they have they made it official? I don't. <laughs> I should I shouldn't laugh about that. Or has he just stepped down? Because he was already kind of dead. He was already like all but dead, right? We already knew this, but I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Let's let's not get open that can of worms. Oh, sorry. I missed your comment there. Yellowstone. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And no, I saw a, a little clip on um on Twitter. Like some uh, volcanic activity in Yellowstone. Now, um compared to the size of it and um <clears throat> what uh you know the size of yellowstone and the size of the active volcano that's under it um what's it active active inactive i don't know can i sit here table making shark of course you can see here thank you welcome in 
I've I've never met a shark that makes tables. That's that's pretty awesome. I'm impressed. Um, although I assume the tables are for other other entities. I figure that sharks themselves don't have much use for tables. But um, but uh, but yeah, welcome in. Thank you for dropping that uh, follow. Um, yeah, so the video looked very scary and impressive. Like people were like almost like caught in it, or they were caught in it. I don't know if anyone's injured or worse sky but um of course anyone doesn't know um so this is projected that uh apparently the the volcanoes under yellowstone national park in the states um is so large apparently that if it fully erupted with full force uh it's basically wiping out the planet not the like the planet is exploding but there'll be so much shit thrown into the air that it would, would the, the sun's getting blocked out so you, i mean if you're in north america you're probably just effed in the a off the bat but if you're elsewhere in the world it's like oh there's no sunlight anymore that's kind of sucks so it's, it's kind of like a species killer if if and when it erupts um not only that apparently uh it's overdue by thousands of years <laughs> um so that is so the fact that it's just had a little a little pop off recently is kind of worrying, Scotty, for sure. Because it's like people don't like to think about it. They, you know, the Roman Empire didn't think they were going to not exist. Now look at them, right? So, you know, I'm not saying expect it, but I'm just saying if if society ends and we have global catastrophe and uh, a complete breakdown of existence as we know it happens within the next few weeks or months um just don't be surprised i mean you might you're probably gonna freak out about it that's quite gonna be a quite normal thing for us to do um but don't be like don't be mentally unprepared for that is what i'm saying there's probably very little you can do practically to be prepared for that eventuality um you know some preppers like to do stuff but it, you know you're just edging your bets at that at that level right <laughs> um so wild wildness so <laughs> with all of the fucking political bullshit and global wars and fucking all sorts of corruption every strata of society uh the poison of the ocean the poison of the, the human race etc it there's so many ways things could go down and fuck us all in the ass uh, so for Yellowstone to be like, yeah, you, 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 you fucking numpties are just wasting time and you're a waste of space. It's just, I'm just, I'm just gonna fuck you right now. <laughs> Stop messing around with our foreplay, human race. It's time to take that volcanic pounding. Um, so who knows? That's all I'm saying. It's just, I, I think there's a lot of people who just. I think this is the mo this is the vast majority of human beings wherever they live in the world wherever their social so social status is or um you know whatever whatever strata of society they're in whether they have much money they have or whatever the possessions are 99 percent plus probably 99.9 percent .9 of human beings cannot even imagine cannot conceptualize that um society existence as we know it could just be f be turned up on his head like on a dime um so yeah just i could say practically i'd say yeah i can't even say be prepared because what there's nothing you can do um just be just be emotionally mentally and spiritually prepared for any happening we are in the simulation this is the fucking matrix okay we're already in there we were born into it okay so just don't be how you get through the game, how you su survive the system, is just to just to take everything in stride. That's what I feel. Just be like, oh, 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 and, you know, if you play Mario and then you like, you know, you get to world eight, you know, eight two, and you're like, oh, what is this fucking jump? You know, and then you fall down the hole because you like, because you're mentally freaked out. I know I am on Mario <laughs> eight two. Fuck that jump. Um. But uh, 
if you just if you just just run at it and just fucking go for it, and you're like, oh, well, it's this fucking little jump. I don't I don't give a shit about this. I've been doing this all game, right? Then you, then you make it, and it's like no big deal. That's a that's a janky as fuck analogy, but <laughs> just be prepared. That's what I'm saying. Now I sincerely hope that the volcano doesn't erupt and destroy everything. However insane everything is, and some of it probably does need <laughs> a fucking cleansation, um, so to speak. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So yes, I had. I had. You're a mother, are you, table-making shark? Sorry, um, these guys got me off a rat there. Um, that's all right. Do, do mothers need to be more gone easy on? <laughs> Let me know. How many, how many little sharks do you have? I guess is the next question. But um, but welcome in, uh, shark. Um, pleasure to make your acquaintance. I don't know how you found us today. Looking at just chatting. My name is Isn't it? But I'm a. F well, these I don't know. It depends who you ask. Some people say I'm a psychopath. Uh, I which I don't think I am. But I'm definitely unique and a, and also a weirdo. I think everyone can agree on that, regardless of how you feel about it. Yeah, I was gonna say Scotty. <laughs> is uh probably he's like oh there's some mothers around here i mean everyone consenting i'm probably gonna go hard on them you know what i'm saying <laughs> but um each their own so <laughs> shark's probably just headed out of here already and he's gone like what the fuck have i just walked into here <laughs> yeah how many is that sky <laughs> It must be true. I wouldn't say if it wasn't true, right? Um. Oh, a movie called Volcano. I've not seen that flatly. And this does uh Whoa, how are you doing there, buddy? Sorry, I'm a bit behind at the moment. You got me ranting away about the end of the world. Um and uh is <laughs> Does society collapse? <clears throat> it's one of your favourites, is it, uh Scott? I never even heard of it. Yeah, it has been overdue, hasn't it? I don't know how about how many years, but it's like with everything that's going on um in the world, it's like it's like the um it's like the simulation is like literally you know when you play a video game and you get to the last level and it throws every trick in the book at you to fucking knock you off balance and and fuck with you. It's like we've we're it's like we're on the final level of the simulation right now. That's what we're at. Now, of course, the question is, do we die and lose all our lives? Or do we complete the final level? And regardless of which one of those we do, what what comes next? What happens if we complete the final level? But what happens if we die? We lose all our lives. I don't <laughs> I don't know. That's what it feels like to me. We're on the final uh level right now. Uh, but yeah, who, who knows? Oh, <laughs> there's, uh, there's a lot of serendipity you'll find in this life, uh, flatly. Yeah, you literally, <laughs> you go, oh, I watched a movie about this the other day. Uh, <laughs> is that a bot you're getting rid of there, Scotty? Thank you. Um, <clears throat> oh. Oh, really? Damn, Michael Quite an eruption. Finished off by James Patterson. Excellent. That's pretty pretty good. Pretty well written then, I would imagine. Um It's up to sixty nine, is it? At least I'm a nice psychopath. Or I mean not I'm a nice not a psychopath. <laughs> I'm good. I am good wolf. But yeah, it's I dunno, it's um What is going on? What is going on? I keep feel like I'm gonna wake up one day and there's just gonna be like fucking um Morpheus there. <laughs> and I'll be like, Lawrence! And he's like, Who's Lawrence? My name is Morpheus. <laughs> and I'll be like, This is weird. <laughs> and he's like, Yes, you you're probably having some delusion. So you've got some mental uh confusion right now, is Nib. Uh, as you've uh, just exited the matrix, and I'll be like, "Why? 
I did call me Isnib, and he'd be like, that's your name. I was like, no, that's just my streamer name. And he's like, no, that's your actual name. And I'd be like, now we're, now things are getting very weird. Um, you want to explain to me what's going on? And he'd be like, did you see the movie The Matrix? I was like, yes, that's how I know who you are. Your name's, your real name's Lawrence. He's like, no, it's not. It's Morpheus. Lawrence was just my alter ego within The Matrix. I'm like, this is just getting too weird. M Morpheus. <laughs> Don't want to dead name him. Um, and he'd be like, yes, the movie The Matrix, it was, uh, it was, um, it was a virus we programmed in. It was a Trojan horse to let the, uh, the sleeping masses know what may be going on. Most people didn't get it, obviously, but <laughs> it was the best we could do at the time. I'm like, okay, well, now what? That that I can't even speculate on. Because fight against the machines, right? But then, but I don't know. I feel that would be like a bit. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to think about anything anymore. But yes, I hope. Um, however crazy all of this is, I do. Uh, I do. I do prefer this over. Uh, Yellowstone exploding and killing us all. Um, right. Exactly. Exactly, Wolf. Uh, I'm just going to stay in my little bubble and uh, play video games. Obviously, the only changes would be um, is if the electricity goes out. We can't do that. Um, and also, if I run out of food and I can't get food, I have to go out there and I'm like fighting all sorts of, you know, scally scavengers trying to f fight. I don't know. You don't want to ha think that you're going to have to fight and kill people just to eat, to stay alive. Um, I spoke to my brother about this once. Not that specifically, but I was like, zombie apocalypse. Not good, but also it kind of um, narrows down your life's focus, right? It's like no job, no no bills, no... no it kind of like takes away a lot of stress. Yeah. It, it exchanges a lot of mundane stress for a lot of real world real moment stress um and while i don't want that to happen this is part of my psychology that would prefer that kind of suite of stress rather than what we currently have not that my personal life is that stressful but i'm talking about most people in society as, as a whole um uh which my brother said yeah i understand your point that you're making but also, I would just not want to live in that world. And we're all familiar with The Walking Dead. You see those people, they struggle day after day, fighting everyone and everything, struggling, clawing for basic survival. And then they'll survive for a year, two, three, five, eight years. And then they just, one day, they're just dead. Um, and and there's, no one's having a good time of it. Everything is, everything is horrible for everyone all the time. Um, my brother would point was i wouldn't even want to live in that world like that uh, you know and I, I guess he wasn't overtly saying that he'd kill himself but like he his point is of course it's your natural instinct to try and survive under any circumstances but if all you have to look forward to is more fuckery and more off godforsaken awfulness and there's no light at the end of the tunnel um then is it worth fighting for survival uh, I, I I feel he makes a point, but I don't know. I, I I feel my survival instincts would take charge in that regard. Um, but what would I actually do? Uh, if it came to it, if I had to sword fight a guy in this town and I either die or I kill him, and then I get to live a few more days because I got the food that we were fighting over. I, I, I guess I would try and kill him, is what I'm saying. Unless I knew him and I was like, "Hey, bro, let's not fight. Let's let's try and like pool our resources and try and be buddies." Um, who knows though? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exactly. It seems so depressing <laughs> because, like, there's very much a sense in The Walking Dead. It's like, um. They're like, if we do this, and if we survive, and if we struggle, and if we strive, and if we claw our way through this, maybe, maybe there's a future several years from now 
where we can actually when life is actually not shit then i understand that but if you actually knew that it was no <laughs> it was you, uh, going back to my brother's point if you're if you're placing a bet and you're pretty sure that it ain't ever going to get any better then yeah the, why stress yourself out i mean i don't like I say what's he gonna do i guess and yeah trigger warning talking about suicide and this is all any hypothetical suicide here so if anyone's like sensitive about the discussion of the topic of suicide regardless of how real or uh hypothetical it is this is your trigger warning so don't be crying to me about it um realistically i guess if you live in america or many other countries in the world uh, where firearms are legal it's relatively easy to kill yourself right as long as you're not someone of these absolute fucking dickheads who try shooting themselves in the head and they just end up shooting themselves like in the, the jaw off or something stupid like that that's I, I feel on some level that's on you if you you know fuck up that badly you know you can shoot yourself in the head i, f I feel a you know, anyone with you know a reasonable degree of uh, mental capacity should be able to end their own life fairly easily it'd be instantaneous and it'll be painless um if you are not an idiot um but yeah over here what would you do to end your own life I don't know. Most other ways of uh, suicide seem like a awful, awful idea. Now, apparently, uh, if you uh, open up your veins in a in a hot bath, it is not painful. This is what I've been told. I don't know if that's with me pharmaceuticals to aid the passing away process. Um, and it's like, <laughs> how does anybody know? Oh, what? Yeah, I killed myself last week. And no, exactly. Um, but, you know, that doesn't sound like a great idea to me. And is it going to... I don't know. And as we established uh, on Tuesday, I do not have a bath. Whoever Scott... You know, Scotty was hiding in somebody's bath. They have a bath. We do not. <laughs> well, you could find one. But then again, is there any... Is, does hot water exist anymore at that point? Probably not, right? Um, so what are you going to do? Get alcohol and, like, prescription medications and OD yourself? Well, I understand that's probably pretty fucking painful way to go. It seems awful. It's like just the idea of like taking all that substance in front of you and just being like, I want to put all this in my body to like poison myself to end myself. I don't, I don't think I could make myself do that. Um, I guess what I'm saying is for me, I would have to be mentally and emotionally broken to want to end my own life. Not just like... Oh, practical considerations and the world is an awful place um as long as my spirit and mind are still intact I, I, I can't think i would ever want to do that and i can't imagine what would break my mind and spirit to such a degree that i would choose that as an option um to jump off something high go to like a tall building and throw yourself off i guess i would get the job done um Sometimes it doesn't, though, right? And then you might be kind of regretting your decisions in the short term. I don't know. I think it's... I, I'd rather just... I think I... Going back to the Walking Dead example, I would think I would prefer to claw through the, the muck for five years and then just end and then just be like someone fucking gets me and not look back on those five years, proverbially speaking thinking that it was a waste of time i guess let's hope it doesn't happen is what i'm saying <laughs> ah. <clears throat> oh thank you Flatty. <laughs> i don't know i heard that jeffrey dharma was quite a charmer right <laughs> that you know who knows i don't know <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Um. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Flatley. I'm glad that was the case. Yeah. Look, don't get me wrong. In my um, in my mid to late twenties, I was not in a good place mentally. I I did not have any kind of suicidal ideation. I I did not want to kill myself. 
and I certainly didn't make any plans or preparations to or research to go to those ends but it was fair to say that I wasn't too concerned whether I was alive or not I didn't really have any will to be alive if that made sense um and unfortunately that lasted for you know a lot longer than I would have hoped but thankfully I came out the other side of it uh, and I feel that experience kind of made me um you know I got strength from it looking back on it I'm, I'm better for who I am now having had gone through that than if I hadn't gone through that um but uh yeah Yellowstone crazy sky crazy thank you for mentioning it I only saw a bit and I was like <laughs> can you imagine the planet maybe it's the planet is just like you little shits I've had enough of your bullshit <laughs> I was very happy for you to live on me with the animals. Um, you know, just just kind of doing like just doing a chill thing. But now you're doing pollution. Now you're doing politics. Now you're doing corruption. Now you're doing all sorts of fucking insanity. I'm just going to get rid of you. We're just going to start again. <laughs> Can you imagine? I don't know. Red Mage, what I don't know. What did you miss? What did you miss, buddy? <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Right, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, Farley. Hmm. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, yeah, because it's not it's not a rational thought. I don't feel. But anyway. Anyway, and for, and for myself, I'm just conceptually philosophically i'm too fucking stubborn i'm like <laughs> like however bad things are i'm just like now certainly i'm like why make it easy for the universe the universe wants to take you out fucking make it work for it <laughs> right don't help it along now, I can imagine some horrifying situations where you might just want to, I don't know. Like, if maybe if you knew the ocean and you were, like, you may be on a, a, a sinking life raft and the sharks are circling. And you know that, say, like, an hour from now, you're going to be eaten alive by sharks. So, this is a very hypothetical, because I don't know if that you could guarantee that would happen, but... Then, you know, and then you're like, oh, actually, maybe just I'll just tap out now. Because uh, to face the horror, I don't know. Even then, I don't know. I might want to, like, try to fight a shark. I don't... <laughs> I, knowing that I'd lose. Knowing that I'd lose. But I'd be like, fuck you. Because if you were torn apart by sharks, it would be horrifying. But it wouldn't last that long. It would not last that long. And... Time is just an illusion, so. Yeah, I'll, tr I'll, tr I'll, give, I'll give that shark a bop on the nose, right? I <laughs> are you, are you fucking with his nib? All right, bro. <laughs> anyway, sharks are scary. That's probably one of the worst things I've got. Um, probably burning alive is quite horrifying to me. And, just, and even without the sharks being there, just drowning. Just lost in the middle of the ocean. That's that's quite a horrifying thought. Even if there's no sea life interfering with you. Just the fact that you're like, oh. Um, you know, you wouldn't... Even the strongest swimmer would not have enough energy and strength to stay afloat indefinitely. Dragon King Slice! Like that. I'd, <laughs> I'd shout it out in, in, his, in his sharky face as I'm giving him a punch. Um... Yeah, just that you, you're literally treading water in the middle of the ocean, and you know that it's only a, uh, a matter of time. It might be hours, it might be days. You might be some kind of nut job who can survive weeks. But you're going you're gonna to drown at some point, and you ain't going to make it to land. Uh, horrifying. Yeah, and it's, it's not just the, the concept, but like... Because uh, we're talking about the survival instinct. Your survival instinct would say, oh, you're in the middle of the ocean. 
You need to start swimming to get to land. But you don't know which direction land is. So, so what you do, you just pick a random direction and just start swimming. Well, think how much energy you're expending by swimming. As opposed to just trying to f float there. So that 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 psychological trap as well for me is part of the horror of that is um because you have to make a decision as soon as you're in that situation you either have to decide I need to pick I need to immediately pick a direction and swim as hard as I can and hope that I, I somehow chose the right direction and land is not too far away or you just go okay I'm not gonna go anywhere I'm just gonna stay right where I am. And just float and just I don't, I don't know it's horrifying to think about authors me but thank you there's bitties there uh red mage you don't need to um <laughs> hawk too well i don't think that's copyrighted it's great although i would say uh <laughs> um <laughs> i don't know the power of the universe but any <laughs> any uh any woman who wants power over his name that's <laughs> just bring the hawk to her and then we're <laughs> then you probably you probably uh <laughs> i'll probably dance on your strings uh but anyway not really i don't put that out there we should see um oh yeah i mean yeah you don't worry about it then. Then you just go for a, a drown. You're gonna very quickly drown, Red Mage. It's not a problem. But um, <clears throat> mm. right, yeah, flatly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just be like, yeah, uh, you know. I just, I, it's, it seems anathema to me, the idea of ending one's own life. Uh, just on so many logical levels, just because it's like, you, you know. It's, it's an inevitability. Why hurry it along, right? It's, you, you don't need to end your own life because your life is going to end. Does that make sense? It sounds... It's, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, enough about all that. Um, I guess I'm getting to Spyro. Because uh, we need... Ideally... So the, the ideal plan right now is today we make some good progress in Spyro. Uh, although I don't feel that we're probably going to complete it. But tomorrow, wrap it up and finish up Spyro 3. Which would clear the decks for us to uh, start Fallout London on uh, on Monday. A brand new... Uh, yeah, exactly. exactly uh, brand new week to start a new game. Um, that would be ideal. I'm very excited about it. I know Heather is as well. Some of you probably don't really care about Fallout. That's fine as well. And of course, it will be a, a chonker. Um, but uh, I, I'm very excited about it. We'll see. Yes, it was released today, Wolf. Um, so yeah, go you go and have a look for if you want to play it yourself. Check it out yourself. Yeah. So Wolf, uh, we're all gonna. That's one mission we're gonna do in the game. We're gonna find Wolf's house when we get into it. We're gonna go to his house or what's left of it uh <laughs> but yeah I, I definitely want to because it's all brand new i uh i definitely want to kind of take my time with it and fully explore it because um you know because it's a brand new fallout game for a start and i do love fallout and also the fact that it's london as well it's based on like real places that you know, I'm not as familiar with London, obviously, as um, some people. Certainly not Wolf, but um, or Heather for that matter, or Lager for that matter. But um, yeah, I'll, 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 and not just because it's London, but just because it's a a major Fallout game, the first one that's actually set outside of the United States or what is left of the United States. Every other Fallout game has been set in, you know taking place in continental north america um but the law of course of the fallout series is the whole world is in fallout not just america it's not just about america 
Now, America themselves may have been somewhat responsible for the whole situation, because of course they were. <laughs> but you've still got, uh, you know, you've got all of Europe. You've still got all of Africa. You've still got all of Asia. You've still got all South America. It's... Hey, Jarrett. How are you doing there, sir? Um, <clears throat> what's going on, buddy? Thank you for the, uh, the sub there. 20 months. I don't do that, bud. I well, appreciate you. I'd be good. Right, Red Mage is like, fuck that. I'm not playing no Bug Thesda. <laughs> and that's fine, Red Mage. It's, it's just getting it up and running. That's going to be the, the thing. Um, Chonky Spyro. What's Chonky Spyro? Is that some fan art or something, Flatly? Oh, it's not, it's not that kind of uh, fan art, is it? <laughs> oh... Yes, we didn't enjoy uh, life while it lasts, Red Mage. Yeah, yeah, because it could all go to shit in a minute. Yeah, you need to get on that, though, Red Mage. Red Mage, coming to uh, a Twitch channel near you soon, working on his backlog. You don't you don't get through your backlog by doing no game, Red Mage. You know, you know this, right? Anyway, I think... Um... <clears throat> So links are disabled uh, as standard, uh, flatly. Um, if you need, if you need me, oh, for Chonky Spyro, yeah, you can send it me on Discord, bud. Um, you can post it in my server or send it to me directly if you want. Uh, but yeah, let's get let's get into Spyro then. Um, your favourite game, Jarrett? How you doing, bro? Are you well? What's going on, sir? You working hard? He's always working hard. Can I, the only person who works as hard as uh, Jarrah is probably uh, Fusion. Not saying everyone else here doesn't work hard, but these guys will always be working. Someone posted a video about finishing their backlog. How dare they? Backlogs are not for finishing, are they, Red Mage? What? You, what? This person's crazy. How dare they? All right, 56% Spyro. Think about this, buddy. But yeah, hippie, I hope you're well, sir. I hope life is treating you well. I hope Yellowstone didn't explode on you. <laughs> I hope the political situation in your country is not sounding too like there's too much circus music going on. <laughs> Fucking it's the simulation, guys. It's a simulation. Have you? I don't know if you've heard the um, the um, what's this? What's his name? Ne Niels Bostrom. Bostrom. I can't remember his name. And I think e Elon's gibbered about this as well. So this is their uh, this is their uh, the main argument for the simulation theory is that it's probably true. Now, the basis of their uh, this is a very basic uh, rudimentary way of explaining it, and you've probably, you've probably already heard this. So if we get about we're in a simulation for a second. This is just, this is re the real world. This is reality. Now, what? is going on with sentient life is uh of course as it progresses and evolves uh it creates technology and one of the manifestations of that technology at a highest level uh, of which we're just dabbling our toe in at the minute is of course the idea of virtual reality right um if you you know if any uh sentient life creates games board games fucking chess checkers whatever eventually will with technology create video games and video games will eventually evolve into virtual reality of video games and then we look at things like examples of um you know the hollow deck on star trek right perfect virtual reality you step into it it's perfect um the argument is that on a long enough timeline any sentient species will create virtual reality to such a high standard that you cannot differentiate between it and real life or what we perceive to be real life right um and given the age of the known universe um etc 
it's a it's an inevitability. Now, of course, if it's uh inevitable that that kind of technology would exist, what is the chances that we're not already in it? Um, those guys kind of argue that it's far more likely that we're already in the simulation than we're not, just based on the probability um, of the occurrence of those things manifesting in a universe that is as large as we know it to be and as old as we know it to be. The probability is stacked against the fact that we're not. Now, I'm not saying I agree or feel that we're in a simulation as opposed to physical reality but i completely understand their argument i guess i would also say if we were what what do I, <laughs> how can i say what real life feels like if i've not only ever known the simulation right but yeah with the <laughs> With the level of wackiness of everything that's going on in the world, it almost like it's like someone outside of the simulation is trying to drop some fucking clues, and it's like <laughs> it's just someone's fucking with us. That's what it feels like. It's like some. It's like we're all characters in like GTA RP, but we don't realise we are. And then someone who's and then Rockstar are actually like, you know, just like summoning Godzilla, and we're like, oh no, it's Godzilla. Rather than, and, the, and then the people at Rockstar were just laughing their asses off. And be like, let's see if these NPCs realize that they're in a game. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know is what I'm saying. God, they're going hard, aren't they? These fucking bots. And, and again, I say this every time, disrespectful. Best viewers. I already have the fucking best viewers. You... Fucking the arrogance of it. Imagine coming to somebody's Twitch channel and and saying that. There's kind of like the disrespecting everybody who's already here. Ridiculous. Wouldn't surprise me, flatly. Would not surprise me. But <laughs> oh <clears throat> Damn hippie, yeah. I don't blame you, buddy. This all this chaos, literal chaos. Now I will say this: everywhere, every other country in the world seems to also be in absolute chaos right now, with uh, mass Ill illegal migration, um, all sorts of their own fucked up political situations, war, and it's just it's all insane. But it does feel that maybe the United States has the the craziest uh example of the insanity at the moment <clears throat> yeah they come through sometimes flatly but yeah we they're not too bad but yeah thank you we'll keep an eye out but yeah don't um yeah thank you for mentioning it would be fine yo square how's it going right exactly red mage exactly yeah, we were asking the same thing earlier. What country is that square? I don't know if you've mentioned before, and if you have, I do apologise. I have forgotten. <laughs> yeah, every everything's weird, but um, yeah, America hippie is um, it's a, th I I don't know. It it feels like it's a set. The whole thing's a setup. Uh, and of course, it's the tragedy. Of course, is the American citizens the ones who suffer the wacky experiment, the consequence of it. You're in Belgium, are you, Square? Awesome. I have. Be I did go to Belgium briefly. I remember nothing about it. We were literally just passing through, so I can't really comment. Um, although you you guys do have a reputation of having some superb uh chocolate, that is that is known. It is known. Yeah, you are, and we're all kind of we're all kind of stuck where we are, right? <clears throat> yeah, fucking Euro, get out of here. Yeah, wacky world we're living in right now. Hmm. I mean, it's um. 
My understanding is you, you're all fucked over there anyway, flatly regardless. <clears throat> Really? Ferrero Rocher used to be the cho chocolate of the poor people in Belgium. I was born in the wrong country, obviously. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> right, here we are. We're in the, uh, what do you call it? The Evening Lake. Evening Lake's cleared. We've got two random levels to look at. We've got a pirate ship. Yar! Let's get in there. Um, and what else do we have? Uh, let's, mm, let me find it. Yeah, it's the pirate ship. I don't remember what the other level was. Or the altars we've been in there. Ah, and the fireworks factory. Choices. Okay, let's, as we're there, let's go to the fireworks factory. <coughs> Yellowstone's like, you called? I was like, no, we'll, we'll call you when we need you. Calm down. Yeah, respect, frankly. That's all we can. That's all we can do. Is it? I mean, I, I will say this, frankly. Apart from like a few random bits, like I did not like the Yeti, like fucking boxing match thing. That mini game was not fun. It added nothing to the game. That was not to my taste at all. Um, the general, the general gameplay of this whole game and this whole trilogy is fantastic. There's not a point on like, like not having fun, for the most part. Um. But yes, uh, Squidge also mentioned the other day flatly that Fireworks Factory is in is particularly fun. So we look forward to that. Um, <clears throat> fucking hell! Is that like an annual um, thing you have to uh, do? Square over in the UK, and I assume I don't not being a car owner, I know nothing about this. A thing called a yearly MOT, um, which stands for. motor something tax basically you have to take it to anyone who's a registered professional motor mechanic they have to do like a an overall check on your car and make sure that the standard things are up to scratch um and usually you have to pay them and sometimes they're unscrupulous and they'll make shit up but no not all of them obviously and that costs money you know, on top of all your other shit. Thankfully, I don't own a car. Thankfully. But yeah, it's a problem, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you don't get, if you don't have it, it's illegal to drive your car. Oh, they got rid of it, did they, flatly? Yeah, I, it's, um... I don't know how I feel about something like that. Because, yeah, you want people to be, um... You want people to not be driving a vehicle around on public roads and highways if it's actually going to be a danger to people. But also, where do you draw the line? Because you can have too much regulation. You can have too much, like, government oversight. You know, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens in the simulation. The more you have, the more you get taken from you. Unless you're in, unless you're in the the you no know, the fucking uh the point one percent club. Anyway, enough about that. Fireworks. Okay. This factory's made out of stone, which makes sense. You don't want to <laughs> try your best not to have your fireworks factory made out of wood. Wow, this has got an interesting tune. Um, who's this kid? Is this fucking what's her face out of the uh, second game? Oh, hello. It is, isn't it's it? Good to see you again, Spyro. That naughty sorceress has stolen the professor's rocket plans, Professors. and I'm on a secret mission to find them. Handel was supposed to meet me here, but I can't find him anywhere. Right, Maybe Handel, you yeah. could help. Yeah, of course. That's my job. Okay, that's just a random cannon. It looks kind of sus, but... Oh, 
They've got a ninja. What the? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that's, that's kind of wild. It's got a nice tune on this level. A bit like this. I mean, I don't know if putting a fireworks factory in the middle of a volcano is a good idea. These guys just keep coming back. They're not dropping gems. Oh, wait, they just fucking respawn. Okay, fuck those guys. It's alright, so we've got bonus level there. Not sure how to get up there right at the moment. Let's go jump from higher up and fly over. Alright, so I guess I'm heading through here. Okay, right. So I think actually. Okay, so some of these guys have do drop gems and some of them do not. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Greta. With the professor. And so, shut up, child. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, yeah, that's that's wacky. In fact, they insist that you have your car running before they check it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, can you imagine? A s you know what, Square? The thing is, it, sh it should be like that. So we're talking about the resource based economy the other week. We have the technology and the means to set up systems where we can generate power. And that it takes a bit of a, it'll take some effort and resources and uh, cost to set up. But once it's set up, we can have like free energy for everybody on the planet. Yeah, of course, the energy companies don't want that because they're making money from us. It's so fucking backwards. Our species looked at objectively. We are a, we're a fucking joke. With all our technology and all of our knowledge and intelligence, the fact that we haven't got our shit together, the fact that we can't overcome our human psychology to actually cooperate with each other, we're we're actually a fucking joke. Um, that's probably the thing that bothers me most in this world. I'd say, but <clears throat> exactly flatly, people ain't getting paid when things are free. Uh right, yeah, yeah. It's great. It's a fucking problem. It's like what. Utility should be. I'm not a communist. I'm not a socialist. But things that are standard things that everybody needs, everybody needs, should not be part of the capitalist system, right? It's it's a problem. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe one day. I am an optimist. Assuming uh, Yellowstone doesn't decide to just eat us. <laughs> Damn, is that the price discrepancy? Square, sounds like you want to get on down to Croatia. I've heard Croatia's wonderful. But, you know, you hear all sorts of things, don't you? <clears> hmm. <throat> yeah. Agreed, flatly. Yeah. You need to, uh, what, like, what are we even doing if we're not all working together? I don't know. All right, so there we go. So these guys are actual fireflies. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, so, uh, I've got a rocket here. Oh, firework? Oh, oh, we're eating it. Now, what am I doing with this? Then. Ow. I'm just spitting at these guys. Oh. Ow. 
Oh. Maybe we need to knock the bombs back in? No. It is. It is square. This, the whole system is set up to make us be unhealthy and like mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally unwell. It's lit. I, I. Some people will be like, "Oh, get your tinfoil hat off, isn't it?" I feel that it's literally set up that way on purpose. You know, not that it's like been a master plan since dot but like things have uh, people who are actually in control in this world the th what it all boils down into is they want to maintain control of this world and the easiest the best way to do that is to undermine any potential pushback and the reason and the best way to do that is to you know make the masses stupider lazier uh, more unhealthy uh, more apathetic um, and it, almost everything is geared on some level to to do that. It's a it's a problem. Again, I, I do believe we'll uh, see some light. Oh, oh, you have to. Okay, you have to set. You have to flame his uh, the barrel of bombs on his back or oh, explosives or whatever. Right. Okay. Listen, I'm not going to jump over there. Now, maybe that little rocket can be used to blow that up? Okay, so I need to kill some of these guys, but... It's hard to know which ones I've got and which ones I haven't. I don't know if this is going to work. It did. Nice. Okay, um, let's hold it this way. Noodles, as in the guitarist from of the offspring. Guess not. I think I guess he's getting on a bit now. Okay. Um, sorry. I guess we're going to that. Uh, I guess we're in, in, in here? Ow, okay, so... <laughs> they can, uh, when they explode, they can hurt you. Which, I mean... A genius to figure that out. <clears throat> right, Greta, what's going on then? It looks like you'll have to use this cannon to get a quas here. A quas? I'm aboard. As for me, I just have to free my mind. You have to free your mind, did you? Okay. That was a fairly impressive jump there. They're climbing in the cannon then. Oh, seemingly. I don't know if I was going to get to aim it there myself, but no. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, I'm not familiar with Crazy Taxi. Did they have a song in Crazy Taxi? Yeah, that's badly. Yeah, yeah, I grew up with listening to The Offspring. I've, I've kind of lost track of what they're doing nowadays, but I haven't they probably listened to their last five albums. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I grew up listening to The Offspring. Awesome. Yeah, it's not square. It's not good for uh, the realization of the human spirit. That's for sure. Yeah, you should put, only be putting effort in for fulfilling projects, not working just to exist. It's not the way it's meant to be. this little rocket for something. Yes, there we go. Come on. Ninja box. <laughs> it's a ninja in this box. So the fireworks factory doesn't seem to be much of a factory. It's just a bunch of ninjas hanging out and some of them have fireworks. <laughs> it seems like. Right, there we go. Bonus level there. jump there to get gem and another bonus level. It looks like the sorceress has already used the plan to build her own walk it. We have to destroy it. Just follow me. Walk it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Let's destroy the walk it. Why is she why is she a martial artist now? They were, they were weird kids in the uh, in the second game that defied explanation of why they were even in, in the game, and it's not got any less weird now. Okay, so how, how is that helping us? Have we just blown up the egg? No, I guess it, no, I guess. Hey, look what was in the rocket! It must have been what was in the rocket? Grady. Back to evening like to finish work on the professor's rocket. Okay. Thank you. You do that. Um Oh that is down there. It's not really started, was it? No, not quite. Um okay. So, uh, we've got that rocket there to get into the start of the level, which I don't know exactly where that's going to take us. I've got that bonus level there, and obviously that gem bonus level around the corner, and then also dropping down there, which I don't know what that's going to do for exactly. Okay, let's, um, let's do this bonus level. Jet Lee had a PS his own PS2 game. Did he? I didn't know <laughs> I did not know that. Uh it's great. Yeah, yeah, Jet Lee was uh, definitely um he's kind of a big deal like uh, for for a period of a couple of years, wasn't he? Uh Delmar. All right, there, Delmar, how are you doing? Yeah, I mean there's always exceptions to any rule, isn't there? But 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Oh, is it flowy? Interesting. Oh, yeah, I, I barely pay any attention to any new music that comes out of Square. I was talking about music the other day, anyway. I don't need to reiterate everything I said, but if I am in the mood uh, to specifically listen to music, I've got, I've got like hundreds of stuff, you know, songs and bands and artists that I would just listen to. Or stuff that even that I love that I haven't listened to in years. It's because I never thought to listen to it, right? So I don't... If, you, if you're going to put out new music, please, please inspire me. You know, give, give me something interesting. That's what I'd say. And like you say, mainstream new music is like... I don't know. It's, it's whatever. Someone's enjoying it. Right, here we go. Here he is. I think I can see an egg behind you, but it's out of reach. We'll behind me? The long way around through these Rhinox to get to Oh, okay. Rhinox? Who's the Rhinox? All right, up there. Yeah, I'll see. She can't jump. That's fine. Let's, let's go play some Rhinox. Ow. Now, how to uh, get around them? This is kind of bullshit. Uh, they might have gems on them. I guess we'll be sneaky and come at them from behind and quickly flame them. I guess is the idea. Okay, that wasn't exactly what I was going for, but I guess I got the job done. Careful not to die now. <clears> hmm. <throat> yeah, didn't they? I guess in the internet age, they're less of a thing, right, Square? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. Now, now it's just, I don't know. Oversaturation of just not just music but other stuff that people are just kind of. I don't know. Definitely seems to be some more like lowest common denominator kind of shit going on as well. But then again, when it comes to music or any art, you c no one can say something is. Now you can get like you and I could like play song A and play song B. And we could say, that, come on, technically, obviously, song A is better than song B. And we can have 99% of the rest of human humanity agree with us. All it takes is one person to say, no, actually, I genuinely feel song B is better. Then it's, it's nothing's definitive when it comes to art, is it? So it's just consensus. So, I don't know, it's tricky. Now, I don't get to you, little shit. I'm supposed to do with this guy. And uh, this guy for that man. Oh, oh, we got a little rock here. There we go, that'll do. That should hopefully work. Alright, there we go. I'm trying to make things overly complicated. And almost got myself killed. <laughs> In the presses. Get hit back there. Desperately needed. Sorely needed. Oh. 
Oh, that's weird. Sometimes it just wanders around and doesn't probably look at us. I'll run back and get the rocket. Oh, I guess I can. Hey guys, you think I'm gonna see you up there? Lol! You eating your buddy? So <laughs> there is. What kind of ninjas are these that. <laughs> they, they kill each other, I don't know. Sam! <clears throat> Sam's probably the most non-gender specific name you can think of. I can think of. Can anyone think of any others? Maybe maybe Joe as well. Sam, Joe. Anyone think of anyone else? Any others? Metapod, hey, didn't that buddy? Charlie? Yeah. I'd say it's uh not as uh specific. Charlie when you say Charlie to me it sounds far more masculine but uh, i didn't know uh i didn't know a girl when i was younger called charlotte who i only knew her as charlie now, i don't know if that was specifically is charlie a shortening of charlotte i don't know I think it was charlie but but uh alex yeah alex is a good one square shelby i don't think i've ever met anyone called shelby and uh, Francis is a good one, but I, I, with the different spelling, I see those as that's been two different names personally. Max. Never met a female called Max. I'll say that. <laughs> oh, actually, I guess um, from uh, what was that game? Life is strange. The main character in that is uh, Max. Ashley. So yeah, Ashley's definitely has uh, a lot of female connotation in some places in the world, particularly the States. Um, in the UK, I'd say Ashley's distinctly uh, masculine. Akuma, how are you doing? Andy. Oh, excellent, uh, 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 Jarrett. Yeah, I, th I think I might be a more American thing. Andy over here is definitely masculine. Um, Frankie. Yeah. Yeah, square. I'd say that's probably 50-50. I still think, I still think Sam and Joe are the, are the champions. Um, but yeah, he's in the camera. You well, bro. Yeah, Delmar. You get that sense, don't you? So I, uh, follow a couple of, like random metal bands and stuff that still put out music and they you know they tour globally and they still put out music and they still make money and this is their living and stuff but there's definitely a vibe back in the 90s and noughties and i guess uh in you know in the even in the 80s with like start of like the uh you know some of the, the larger metal bands and obviously air metal as well was um like stadium rock and all that was kind of a big thing but yeah it's kind of dropped off now what what even is popular music anymore i don't know nothing that i've got any interest in <laughs> yeah for sure for sure back in the day yeah yeah okay yeah i love uh me some nine inch nails square got some good taste if that is what you're mentioning um so I think we've, we've done this little bonus level. I think we have. I don't think I missed anything specifically. I need that. Yeah, heading straight out. Okay, cool. That's fun. Take take some beatings in the uh, in this level, but never mind. Um, as we're up here, I'm just gonna go this way first. I think.
Yeah, I mean, it's, now it's probably just... Oh, what's all that down there? Okay. Oh, what the... What the hell? What's going on here? You'll have to use this combo power-up to take out these fire dragons. Fire dragons? And super fly and super queen at the same time. Okay, well, it should be... Defeated two flying fi fire dragons. Go the tail back when left alone. Oh, okay, so we've just got to fucking... Got to fuck them up as quickly as possible. Oh! And, uh, yeah, we're not gonna try and take damage here. Oh my god, oh my days, okay. So now, do I have to get at their tails to, uh, hurt them? Okay, this is... Now, I, I don't know. Now, is he gonna regen? Yeah, okay. Let me just have a look around first. This seems like it could be awkward. And the fact that they attack you as well. Well, it seems like that my, my flight and... Oh, okay. I see. My flight and my uh, flame are not on the timer at all. It's not like it's only one minute either. Oh, is that... I don't know where they're... There seems to be some, like, tunnels to fly in and out of here. Watch out for those. And that. <laughs> Do you know if they've got like a specific pattern they're following? Or... Yeah, we'll find out. Okay, so I jump in there. Oh, okay. And then that goes up there. So, some of the slight issue here is uh, they seem to be f faster than Spyro. So, that's kind of a problem. It looks like you can maybe hit them from uh, any angle here. Or rather, any part of their length. As long as you're coming at them from behind, it seems like. God, this is fucking arduous, no? Okay, so maybe the blue one's just going around the tunnels and... Oh, you little shit. <laughs> he was like, I've had enough of your shit, buddy. For the uh, pink one here. Red one, whatever you want to call it. Ooh. Seems to uh, want to stay outside in this open area. Oh, for fuck's sake, bro. Now, hopefully there's a lot of uh, heels around. All those heels I've got are going to respawn. So they do, ob they obviously are regening, but it seems kind of slow. Obviously, the smaller they get, the harder they are to uh, hit. Thank God that the power up doesn't um, doesn't seem to want to uh, run out too quickly. say too quickly at all. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> I know he's been a little shit. Okay, bro. Yeah, so it's almost like no point in following the tunnels there, because defying expectations, are you, bro? So I actually like this uh, as a mini game, but I feel like you maybe you've got <laughs> the number of times you have to hit them is uh... 
Let's get this fucking one down. My god. There you go. I've only got him like a few more times, right? Fuck you, Sam. We can just reach in there, don't we? Yeah. Well, if we've only got kind of a speed boost as well, we could take. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, so it's almost like if you see them going there, it's pointless following them. And you definitely have to hit them from behind, don't you? You can't be like... I need some heals. Nothing for it. It's a little prick. Shit. Oh, did we get him? I just got like one more hit on him. <laughs> oh my god. Just his head. It's just a head. God, they are so fucking awkward. I wish I could fly as well as they did. Oh my god, he's regenerating. Yeah, this is. Like I say, I like the uh, the theory of this mini game, but how it's actually put into practice here is, I mean, we could be doing this for the next hour at this rate. Not not ideal, though. No, uh, he's fucking regening the bastard. Where the fuck are you, bro? This wasn't the uh, the mini game that you said was your favourite, was it? <laughs> yeah, fuck, son. Right, okay. Well, this is what we're doing for the rest of the stream, apparently, guys. this again. God, he's like going to be up to... He's like, I've got a third of his health back already. Is it... Did they really need to add in the fact that they also attack you? Oh my god, look at the size of them now. Oh, fucking hell, son. This is... Oh, and you project the fireballs are so fucking slow as well. <laughs> you basically have to be on their tail to land any hits, I feel. And the fact that you fly significantly slower than them is... It's what was... I don't know. 
There's something I'm failing to understand here. So I'm way behind in chat here, guys. Let's take, let's take a couple of minutes and let me catch up with you. Squidge, how you doing? There we go. Let me let me <laughs> let me reverse here for a minute. Hmm. You love it because it's because it was so difficult, flatly. I see. Uh, oh my god, sorry, I'm way behind here. Right, yeah, so Eminem, my, uh, but I, I grew up on M Eminem, is the man. But then stopped paying any attention for the past 20 plus years. Um, my uh, good friend Slight is a, seemingly a fan. He, he keeps mentioning him on, uh, on Twitter. Uh, uh... So you you enjoy this, Squidge. Oh my god. <laughs> um mouse oh, wheel is slight. getting old I mean can you imagine anybody saying Fortnite is way better than this game I mean I guess Fortnite has its fans I don't know <laughs> Too unauthentic. Yeah, that's a problem. How how do you measure authenticity? If someone seems someone's put something out that seems shit. Now the people do and say things, uh, and you can prove they're unauthentic based on their you know their actions not correlating with what they are claiming to portray, right? But if you can't do that, however janky or weird or shitty something seems, if if the person who created it claims that they're being authentic. You can't deny it, because you, you can only deny it if you have proof. But yeah, I get where, um... <laughs> it's that generational thing, isn't it? What is Kingdom Rush? Which never heard that. Yeah. <laughs> he won't. E that is showing his age there, uh, man. <laughs> won't even acknowledge ACDC. Now I'm not particularly an ACDC fan, but I understand that. You know, they've got millions of fans worldwide, and I understand why understand the appeal even if it's not necessarily appealing to me right but uh <laughs> anyway back to this fucking shenanigans and then see i'm gonna just take a fucking hit and then i've got to go heal and then all the time running around trying to heal get your fucking your bug eat your bug come on um it's giving it time to fucking regen Why? I wish there's just like a speed boost. Is that too much to ask? We can have a fucking speed boost, Spyro. We can catch up with these dragons. Yeah, it's like here you go. Okay, it's fine when it's just in this middle section. As soon as it goes in either of the tunnels, I can't believe I got down to one fucking hit. It's pointless chasing them into the tunnel because he can't keep up with them. And his projectiles are so fucking slow. <laughs> you have to basically be on their tail to like land a hit. I don't know, if, if anyone's got any ideas of how I could be more skillfully doing this, feel free to mention. Oh, 
Oh, you little tunnel brag. It's better than the boxing. <laughs> the fucking Yeti boxing, let me tell you that. Well, I mean, I think any anything is better than that. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Okay, so there you go. He's gone that way, so there's no point in going after him. Oh, dickhead. Oh, double dickhead. It's not just one dick and wed, it's two. Fucking hell, bro. Get your heels. Come on, Sparks. You're gonna heal quicker than that, buddy, if you don't want to be here forever. Jesus. Jeez Louise. <clears throat> Right, yeah, the problem is, I get there before he does. Kind of. Ugh. The thing is, they also don't seem to have a pattern switch. It seems to, it seems to be RNG of exactly where they're going to go. Unless I'm wrong in that regard. Did he go into his little tunnel there? Yeah. Uh, let's just get this one out, the one out of the way. Oh, he's healed. Let's go. one down. <sighs> Did they fly? Yeah, you know, I can imagine. Okay, at least I've just got the one now.
mean, I've done worse things in video games. <laughs> I've done worse things in, in this video game. <laughs> I can't say I would blame them. They're literally they're stuck in this area and they can never leave and or do anything ever. I kind of <laughs> Oh really? Yeah, apparently. Uh I can I can understand them being not happy about the situation. It's like so many little things I could change about this to make this far more satisfying. Um, can Spyro not just not fly at, at the same speed as them? Why? Why is he so much slower? Can his projectiles be like also not so fucking slow? <laughs> oh shit! I almost got him. So, thank you, Handle. Yeah, thanks for Dragon Eggs. <laughs> so, on that, I would say this, folks. It's um, the idea of that mini game is excellent. Chasing around, a, you know, a snaky thing you got to break apart, but section at a time, even with it regen and everything. But implementation, that wasn't fun. I didn't have fun for the past 10 minutes. I was just making myself do a thing to get it done. But, um, never mind, eh? We got it done. The cat hockey is worse. The cat hockey wasn't even a thing. <laughs> you go in and they're like, oh, you're playing a cat hockey. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? Oh, I've got to free some cats and knock them in my own goal. I was like, what, why are we doing this? Oh, okay. Well, it's done. Anyway, do you find that difficult? I wonder if it bugged, like it bugged out on my playthrough. I don't know what happened, Squidge. The, the the enemy didn't even score. He was like bumbling around. Just he, I don't know. I even like accidentally gave him a couple of cats. I like fro I went to the cats, froze one, and kind of like, knocked it into his area, and I was like, oh shit. And then was like, fuck it. I'll just go grab, grab another one. He didn't even manage to get it in with me trying to help him. Um. <laughs> right, okay. Interesting, interesting. I wonder if there's an element of RNG. Oh my god, they are relentless, aren't they? But anyway, we got it done. Metapod, you want to shut up, buddy? <laughs> Metapod. You want to shut up? Evan. <laughs> He's trying to jinx me. Anyway. Now, did I miss any gems in here? No, I did not. Let's get out of here, Sparks. Cause <laughs> oh, my God. I don't, don't worry about it, Squidge. It's fine. You don't need to, you need to stress yourself. Oh, let me do that. Got too close. Right, okay, next. 
Okay, so I've got this cannon. And... Uh, and uh, I need to drop down in the middle there as well. So I guess we'll just jump in the cannon here and see where it takes us. That's what we're right next to. Is it just taking us back up there? Oh, it is. Okay, so that's literally just a shortcut. Okay. Well, in that case, let's um, throw ourselves down here and see what, what this goes to. Oh. Dear Spyro, or whatever your name is, <laughs> give it up. I've got the monkey and I'm not giving it back. Love the sorceress. Fuck the sorceress. Okay, so the monkey character. But I haven't unlocked him yet, assumingly. I guess I need to go get him before I can go in there. Right, let's have a look at our guidebook. You're doomed, egg and the question mark egg, and a bunch of stuff. Okay, let's follow Sparks and see what we can get. But if, I feel we can't 100% this until we get the monkey character, right? Oh, random gem that I just somehow missed. Okay. In underneath this tower? All oh, right. Yeah, I haven't. Been up there, have I? How do I get up there? Jumping from over there, I guess. Huh. You don't really have enough height there, and that's going to throw you over there. Just shoots you over across the way. Even further away from these two towers. Mm. Oh, there's a little doorway here. I don't know if I've, I've not see this. Yeah, and I've been here, but I'll be on top of it. Yo, Gazzy. How you doing there, Gazzy? Well, that's the thing. If you want to be a streamer, Gazzy, you have to embrace streaming to yourself. Uh, I remember my first streams. I was literally here talking to myself for hours on end. Um, being like, ah, oh, and now look at this. Ah, oh, and this is where you do this bit. And there's, and there's nobody there. It's rough. It's rough, but it's uh, you just got to get used to it. Uh, Gazzy, and keep your fingers crossed. But how you doing, my dear? Are you well? And um, what are you doing? I just, did you see you playing some Genshin? Is that what you've done? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I am not sure at all. Right, exactly. Uh, now, yeah, now, flatly, I just talk to myself, and there's like people watching me while I do it. <laughs> Root! Root! A Rudy Rudy Roo? What's going on, Root? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oi, alright, Root. How you doing? Um, I can't jump for that, can I? Because I'm just going to... Well, that look, kind of look a little, maybe a little ledge you could grab on. I don't know. You know what? That does look sus. Maybe it involves a monkey. I wonder if it involves a monkey at all. I don't know. What do you reckon? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's uh, as long as you are still enjoying yourself, Gassy, that's all that matters. Because if you're ever not, it's a problem. But unfortunately, there's no. I don't know, maybe, maybe more uh, successful streamers than me would tell you differently. I don't know. 
but from my uh, understanding, there is no. It's, it's essentially luck based. Um, and I feel like a lot of people will, they will uh, start streaming and they're streaming to nobody and they go, oh, fuck this shit. This is not what I wanted. Um, and which is perfectly reasonable. Like, maybe imagine uh, when I would go back four years if I had started streaming and I'd still not, I was still streaming to nobody after like six months. Maybe I would, I would have felt the same and just gone, oh, fuck this. This is, this is not working. Thankfully, I, I wasn't, but it, through no other circumstances other than just random luck. Essentially. People randomly find your stream. I think, uh, the, so here's, um, here's the caveat to this, Gazzy. Whether people find your stream when you're live or not, definitely feels like a factor of luck. And again, there's probably stream coaches out there and more successful streamers than me who will tell you differently. And I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying my own personal experience. However, here's the caveat. The thing you do have control over is what you do and what you say to try to encourage people to stay when they do find you. Because I've seen so many small streamers that I will like brand, maybe like go to their channel and just say hello. And they like, they'll barely acknowledge you. Or they'll just be like, oh, hello. And it's like, well, that's that's on them at that point, right? <laughs> now, I'm not saying you should freak out and have a party and like do like, be like a wild man like me and be like a massive weirdo just for the sake of it. But that's that's the caveat. And everyone's different and everyone is looking for a different thing. There's been just as many people, if not more, who have found this channel. And I've been and they've been like, oh, is this weirdo? Ugh! And they flee for the hills and they're like, fuck this. This is just, I'm going to make a note of this guy so I never, ever interact with him ever again. <laughs> As there's, you know, there's been far more, far more of those people than there's been people who've been like, oh, wow. What a strange specimen of a human being. I think I shall observe for, a, <laughs> for more time, right? But the point is that it's on me regardless to be myself and give people the opportunity to decide, make that decision. So I've seen so many small streamers, they, don't, they, they basically don't do anything to give any representation of themselves. It's like going to, like, you know, it's no more different from like maybe um, an audition or a job interview. You go to it, this, here's your opportunity. Now, if you're just the same as everybody else, you can't, you've only got yourself to blame if you don't get the job, right? Does that make sense? But anyway, that's my rant about that. Got Squidge, are they a report's coming out in a minute? Did I say, what did I say? What did I say? But um But all that matters is you enjoy it regardless. Oh. Um But yeah, just uh like I say, if you guys if you if you're playing your game anyway, you should play it live and it's no big deal regardless, then you'll be fine. But just um don't don't psychologically second guess yourself if you're like streaming and there's nobody there and you're like oh why is there nobody here there should be people here or oh there must be something wrong with me or no 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 this that's not that's not the way to go i'm not saying you are doing that it seems like you're not doing that but um but yeah flatly go go ahead flatly should i be uh <laughs> Should I be leaving and coming back? You could give me a little hint about what the fuck I should be doing right now. You've uh, really, you've already played these, haven't you? Wow, awesome! I'm trying to play them. <laughs> I hope, <laughs> I hope for the better, right? <laughs> These bots, where have they come from recently? Especially this stream, I don't know. Um, oh, really, Flally? I don't know. Yeah, I guess, like, the root of something in code. Oh, I'm into coding, but that, that makes sense, right? <clears throat> if that's what you're going for.
<laughs> Fair enough, fruit. That's and that's all that matters. As long as you enjoyed your time while you're doing it. <gasps> oh. You got follow botted flatly when you're not even streaming. That's weird. <laughs> Thankfully, I've never been follow botted. Touch wood. <laughs> But I have, uh, like, Steph has been followed by, I don't know, like, a couple of times. It's like, what the fuck? It's a problem. Yeah, this, the bots are everywhere. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> so, uh, Steph basically squished, just had to manually undo it all. Um, you just have to... Uh, now, there, are, there is... Um, Oh, it's command. Speaking of root, the there's a tool called Commander Root that allows you to like mass remove followers and stuff. Um, but essentially, you just need to like manually go through and make those all those follows unfollow you, and then you block and ban them. It's a lot of work. It's a pain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that happening to people as well, flatly. They'll go into this uh, tool and then they'll accidentally remove followers that are legitimate. It's a problem. Um, now, I'm, is there another cannon around somewhere? I wonder. There's some crazy weirdos in this world. Oh, it, okay, cool. Thank you, Flatly. I'm just been, I'm just been, idiot. I was like, oh, there's nothing around here. This fucking door right here. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, because I came around here and I got to about there and was like, huh? I get it. I bet I can jump over to those platforms there. Never mind that this doorway that's right next to me. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Flatly. I need to. Not make assumptions about existence. Right, where next, Sparks? Back that way? Over here? Ready? Oops. No, that direction. Okay. Oh, it's not pointing to where the, the monkey's level is, is it? <laughs> well, thank you for not uh, mentioning it. I know, uh, flatly, I appreciate that until uh, until I needed it there. Some people get a bit over eager sometimes. Thankfully, you uh, you're not one of them. We've, I don't remember, I can't remember specific games, but I've literally, like, sometimes there's been people who are in, and these are people who have just stopped in because of the game, and we don't really know them, and I don't really know them, and they don't really know me. They're just like, they'll just be like, go left, go left there. And I'm like, you need to go left right out of your house and uh, sort your life out, because that's not, <laughs> that's not how this channel works. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, no, yeah, it's it's all it's all about balance. Some people, and then some people get when I say that they'll get like offended, and it's like they're almost like, well, why are you live streaming on Twitch if you don't want people to come in and tell you what to do? And then it's like, well, I could just ask the question, why do you have nothing better to do with your life? <laughs> right? What? Well, it's like. understand that just like every human being is a unique individual every twitch channel is a unique place and experience right it's like some people can't wrap their head around that oh we, oh I've, a few times read things like people come in on the game we're like they're like why are you doing that and it's like because i want to do that and they're like that's not how you're supposed to play the game and I'm like, oh, well, nothing in the game is saying I'm not supposed to do that. The game's letting me do it. 
So I guess maybe I can do that, right? But that's not how you're supposed to. <laughs> and you're like, all that when we've been playing like Elder Ring, people go, "Hey, bro, enjoy some Elder Ring, bro." What? What build are you, bro? What? What build is your character, bro? And I'm like, uh, I don't have a build. Like, what do you mean, bro? No build? I don't understand. And he's like, no, you don't understand, do you? You don't, because you've you've chosen to live your life with a very limited perception of reality. I can't help you with that. I can just point out the fact to you. Now you leave, and you're gonna have a little think by yourself somewhere. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> of course, it's um, it's this idea that everything should be a certain way, and um, there's a certain way to do certain things, and any deviation from the correct way is, by definition, wrong. And it's like you you're setting such um, such a very narrow, limited view of the scope of existence and the universe by taking that approach. Yes, there's certain things in this existence that are definitely more efficient to do a certain way, more practical to do a certain way, more sensible to do a certain way. But it doesn't mean that just... Yeah, that... Because if everything's done the, the most efficient way, then the, the idea of efficiency is, becomes redundant, right? It's like you can't have light without darkness. You can't have good without evil, right? Anyway. <laughs> I uh I don't I don't know what he's looking at. I think he's looking at the monkey level, right? Which I don't think we can actually get into, right? I have to find this monkey somewhere. And now the other level we've got, of course, is a pirate ship. Now, sometimes pirates like to hang out with monkeys, don't they? That's our little monkey buddies. Yeah, he is. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave for now. It seems like there's a load of stuff I've missed on this level, but we'll calm down. Wow. When you say game, Squid, you mean video game specifically? You're like, Dan, can I play Spyro? And he says, and he's like, yes, only if you speedrun it, Squidge. Oh, you, you failed your speed run. No games for you, child. And you're like, uh, trauma much, Dad. <laughs> only if you did it properly. All right, so if you pulled out Monopoly, it's like, we're only, we're only, you can only play Monopoly if you play a serious game. But if you're just like, just like, oh, I just want to fuck around and play with pretend money. That sounds insane. I, I mean, I shouldn't... <laughs> I shouldn't, uh, I can't, obviously, I don't know too much about the situation switch, but, yeah, that seems weird. That seems very strange. And that's not how it should be, because that's, like, that. by the definition, that's not play. Of course, you don't get more piratey and more monkey than Monkey Island. I do want to play Monkey Island on this stream at some point. That'd be fun. Um, even though, it's, I don't know what kind of viewing experience that might be. Um... <clears throat> We'll see, though. We'll see. At some point. Yeah, that's... that's um, Yeah, Squidge. It's, it's, that's, that's weird, though. You know, I obviously want to talk about it now. Uh, whatever, if you don't want to. But, um, so one of the issues was he had, like, high standards of things. So he'd give you some kind of freedom to do stuff but he would expect it to be done correctly or properly. And woe betide if you did it your own way or not well. That's a problem. <laughs> oh, flatly, yeah, I can only imagine that. I guess because you do it, it's just slightly different because you're doing it like remotely. <clears throat> Number of stupid questions I've been asked in retail is staggering. Um, I've had people, uh, customers in front of me, point at a, a product, an item on the shelf, and say, Excuse me, how much is this? 
and it's got a big old price tag right in front of literally like two inches from where their finger's pointing. <laughs> and you're like, uh, and, and, and yeah, I have to just take it on the chin and I'm just like, oh, I, I don't know, let me check. Uh, and I'll like go, oh, and look right next to their finger and be like, oh, yeah, that's how much it is. Because you, you have that fine line between <laughs> taking the piss and doing correct customer service. Um, oh, there's, there's too many examples I can think of right now. But uh, <laughs> what, some people are wild. <clears throat> Yeah, but uh, that's. I'm sorry to hear that, Gassy. But it's probably your dad was good. Um, not everyone's got a good dad, or had a good dad. Uh, I, my dad wasn't even bad. My dad was just kind of. I don't know. He kind of. I guess he decided he wanted to be a dad, and then he was like, "Oh, I'm a dad now. Oh, never mind. I've got other things I'd rather do." Basically. <laughs> he'd obviously built up this idea of what being a dad was in his head before he became one and then he became one he was like oh 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 what well, after after like put effort in and like ah, uh, yeah no nah, i don't know if i want to do that <laughs> yeah i'm sorry to hear that gazzy that's a shame that's a shame yeah and don't get me wrong i'm not i'm not complaining about my situation my situation is much better than some having a dad who's like overbearing or even abusive on some level but um it's, it's it's definitely a weird situation i don't even think about him but anyway <laughs> it's what it is i i did have a stepdad for a while i was like oh is this is this guy gonna be like my dad no he wasn't either <laughs> never mind eh? um i don't i do technically have a new stepdad my mum remarried uh, and he's a, he's a cool guy, but obviously at the point you're already an adult, and you've already missed out on the father figure opportunity. It's too late for that. <laughs> so, never mind. Um, right, yeah, flatly. It's uh, shocking, right? You do get asked some things like that. Uh, or like uh, people who stood outside the store before we opened, they're, they're like banging on the window, like, "What time do you open?" Uh, and the, the the opening times are like literally right next to their face as they're asking the question. Uh, it's um, shocking, shocking behaviour of some people. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Root? That sounds like maybe the best dad to have. Probably. So I do wonder if you'll have, like, superhero-type dads. Like, that. if there's any potential negatives of that in their life later on. Like, their dad is too good. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway. What's going on here? Bianca has captured Hunter and put him in a cage, by the looks of it. Um, Now, Hunter might actually be into that, because he is, you know, he's... A, He's a bit of a wild man, isn't he? And he also fan fancies her. Hello. I thought you might be hungry. Thanks. Did you bring any chips? I'm Oh, Hunter. <laughs> God, they're all over the place. This is wild today. Thank you, Squidge. You don't have to worry about it. I can get rid of them, but... Sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. Now, all your magic being lost, Bianca, sounds like a terrible thing to happen. But is it more terrible than mass child abduction? Because that's kind of got, it's quite a terrible thing. Just stealing hundreds of children. I don't know. You, you, got, you 
you got to weigh up the options sometimes, right? Sometimes choosing the lesser of two evils is the way to go, even if it's not what you want. Dragons used to live here? Yes, this was their original home. Oh, was it? A long, it? long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. Oh, now, so now she, the sorceress is a hypocrite. This is where we used to live. This is where we're from originally. And she had a, an out, a fallen out with them and banished them. And now she's like, oh. Oh, uh, I guess maybe I shouldn't have banished them. They're actually kind of good to have around. <laughs> Of course, I don't expect nothing less from the sorceress or what little we're seeing of her. I feel like I know her. She didn't realize the dragons were the Oh, of all right, the she magic. fucked up. She was surprise, surprise. I could convince the dragons. <laughs> so rather than sending an envoy and be like, hey, dragons, um, do you remember me? It's a sorceress. You know, you used to live with it over an hour world, and, you know, I was, uh, I was a bit of a dick to you, wasn't I? Um, can we have a chat? Maybe, like, make up? And you come and move back in. No, she just abducts children. Of course, because of course she does. <laughs> to come back, if you let me go. Reasonable try, Hannah. I'm sorry. I can't. Eat your apple, Hannah. Do that at least. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on that. Damn, flatly, that's rough. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, and with with uh, with a father like that, in the, it's hard to care. It's hard to care about someone who doesn't care about you, right? It's not impossible, but it is it is difficult, right? Huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. He he could he could get out of those bars if he wanted. He's, Hunter's not over. Whatever else you want to say about Hunter, he's not like. It's not like he's overweight or anything, is he? Anyway, it's time to be going a pirating. So me do think, laddie. Oh, yeah, def definitely. Definitely. Uh, Come along, me arties. We be looking for the lost fleet. <laughs> I just need a, I just need a hat and a knife patch. That's what I need. What, Squidge? You, be careful around you think I'd speak like a pirate for a whole of a spiral level? That sounds like insanity. <laughs> Calm down. Not asking too much. <clears throat> and the devil fruit. Yeah, you don't need the devil fruit to be a pirate, but I would say some of the best pirates probably have them. Uh, you dump your 9k points through flatly. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not forcing myself to do it. We'll see what happens. Let's see what piratey things I see on the level that bring out the pirate in me. And we'll see. Who's this guy? Crazy Ed. There be more ghosts in this here shipyard than I can shake my pick at. Darn shame, too. But that was mighty close to finding my treasure. Ghosts, you say, Crazy Ed. I, I've dealt with a ghost or two in my time. I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. A treasure, you say? I, I do like me some shiny booty. <laughs> Used to pirate. I've never not been a pirate. I'm always, uh, I'm always a pirate. In, on the inside cage. Okay, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> when, when I, when I cared about you, I always cared about you. What are you talking about? I always cared about you, cage. You just stop caring about yourself, sir. So I hope you're gonna. I hope, that'll, I hope that'll come around, buddy. Because I'm concerned. Um, <clears throat> I'm the only shiny booty. Oh, my God.
The thing is, young Flatley, when it comes to shiny, gleaming, glittery booty, you canny have enough of it. This is true. So it is known, and so I do say. <laughs> well, well, I don't know. You gotta let me know, Cage, if I can help you with that, because that's a sorry state of affairs, sir. I, s I see some little crustaceans here on this uh, this here beach. Did you see that beast? That beast of the seas, it came for me. But I did blast it. <laughs> Out of this sandy dune. Let's think about pirates. They have to be extra verbose as well. It's not just the accent. <laughs> Still wakes the deep. I have not. Uh, I've not even heard of it. Flatly, I. Uh... <laughs> You're working on it. Well, as long as you're putting maximal effort in. And if there's anything I can do, Cage, and it's probably not. But I can do a pep talk. I can uh, fucking give you a proverbial clip round the ear roll. It seems like I don't know. Maybe you've. Uh, maybe you're in need of one. I don't know, buddy. You, only you can answer that question. Ah, tis a shame. Such a fine vessel to be wrecked here on this beach. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, but no, seriously, pirate nonsense aside. <laughs> what is going on? It's really, it's really like some kind of island, and we got some wrecked ship here. Feels like that water there doesn't look healthy, does it? I better test it. It's going to damage me. Of course it is. Right, okay. Well, now I know, at least. Okay, we can't climb in the cannon. I don't think we could. But you don't know these things until you test, right? Now. I don't know what you... What be this creature I see before me? Oh! It was two smaller creatures pretending to be one larger creature. Get thee back, vermin. Um, okay, I'm gonna get this wicked off and then I okay. <laughs> Oh! Is it, what's the gameplay like, Flatly? Is it, is it like a, is it like one of these first person walking simulator horror games? Which I'm not against. They can be good. Or is it like some retro-inspired survival horror? And that is where my uh, where my tastes do lie. I do like me a bit of retro survival horror, so I do. Whether where there be pirates or not, <laughs> it didn't <any> matter. <laughs> it's, so it's just. Chicken ghost? The ghostly chickens. I'm. I'm, uh, I'm confused. I, it's, it's rhinox and chickens pretending to be ghosts. Uh. It's crazy, yeah, you've seen ghosts where there aren't. Bless them. Alas, this sand dune be too steep for my my small reptilian legs. Man the cannon, blast the crustaceans. I don't. Uh, I don't. I quite have that Usopp fame. And I don't actually need to blast these, obviously I can just wait till I get up there. Which presumably I'll be able to get up there at some point, but it's kind of satisfying to blast enemies from a distance. Nice. I can get that guy there. What about these burbs? 
I don't think I'll be able to hit these bubs with this. I'm down. Oh, maybe I can actually. Actually, that seems to be the, the extent of the height. Okay, I got that one. Just got to hit this one as well. Mm, awkward. Yeah, I don't know if I can get these two. Okay, let's not worry about it for a second. Oh, sorry, I do need to get a metal chest though, definitely. Wow. <laughs> ah, Miartes, look at all this treasure. Oh, let me um, let me just pull up a tab open for that, flatly. I, I mean, I, unless it's free, I doubt I'll be able to play it until soon. But I'll, I'll at least have a look at it and put my uh, my un, my unconscious mind for later on in the future. Uh, excuse me. Oh, it, it describes it on Wikipedia. It describes it as a survival horror game. All right, greatly inspired by the thing, apparently. Excellent. Okay, yeah. De definitely the kind of game I would enjoy, for sure. Oh, it's only been out, like, about a month. Okay, cool. Yeah, if I ever uh, see it on sale or something. Are you just going to sort my dinner out, Squidge? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I would still need dinner. I just need treasure. I reckon my treasure be this way. But we'll have to blast through this blooming ship to get to it. Ah, I see, Crazy Ed. I'll man the cannon and make way for us. Don't tell Crazy Ed, but... Once we found the treasure, I will be taking it all for myself. And if that means that Crazy Ed has to have a little, uh, accident, then so be it. <clears throat> Tis but a flesh wound. So close, yeah, so far. I understand that you're um, dressing up as ghosts. Why is he like a chicken ghost? I don't <laughs> it's not just me, he looks like a chicken, right? I don't know. Right, okay. Definitely doesn't look like I can get up to any of those spots for now. I guess we're just jumping over here with Ed. Over there. That's 
certainly wasn't ideal. And I think this is... I could have just gone that way. I don't know. <laughs> I'm making it harder for myself. <clears throat> okay. Let me just head back here. Oh, no, we, oh, here we go. I got the cannon here. Okay. Oh, sorry, Ed. I did not mean to blast you. Don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Long Spyro Silver. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think Spyro looked good if you gave him a pirate hat and an eye patch. He doesn't really need the power because he's he's got sparks, right? And probably a peg leg would not, and a, a hook hand would probably not be the most useful for him. But he could he could go with an eye patch and um, a hat. treasure yes just an egg i will take this off your hands ed your craig landlubber get up and get back to work <coughs> he's not doing work he's gone <coughs> Oh, can we swim in that water with the invincibility? <coughs> right, where's that taking us as well? Hmm. Okay, let's grab these. We do not want to be walking the plank ourselves, no. I was going to use it to dispose of Ed, but it was not necessary. <laughs> uh, um, right, okay. So, um, <clears throat> right, so that's the beginning of the level down there, isn't it? So I, I guess I just jump. Oh, okay, here we go. Cannon time. Now this is for the bugs, right? Oh. Well, I can hit one of them. Look at their flying patterns. So they're easier to hit when they uh, fly at you, obviously. That's one. Closer cannon than this one for these two. Yes, these ones are not going to fly directly at us, but looks of it. Oh, that one will just there. Okay, let's just wait for it. <coughs> I wonder if I'm scoff that plank to fly down there. <coughs> of course, the only problem with waiting is. This guy's got quite the uh, flight pan, the flight path. I don't want to say. Yeah. Right, so there should be one more. It's way off in the distance there.
That might be good. Can't quite see. That's the only problem. Yes, there we go. Alrighty. Man the cannons, land lover. Oh, probably want to shoot that as well. I imagine if I if I can. And I can't technically see it, but. I think the angle of it is such if I do it any higher, it might have the distance, but it'll hit the top of the cave entrance before it gets there. Or not. There we go. Nice. Um, okay, so if I can jump over there to get in that entrance, I guess I would fly over here and that will allow me to get all this stuff here. Hopefully. And then, of course, I've got stuff back down here. Um, yeah, the invincibility and also jumping up here. Let me have a look this way first. Now... Right, yeah, that's just back down to the uh, start there. Um, okay, let me just try this briefly. Ah, it is. Okay. Right, okay, so this is my, maybe just to get a bunch of gems um, lying around in the poisoned water here. Yeah, gross. Oh, oh, I flew off the map. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's not what I was going for there, right? Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, half six already. Jesus. Really, Root? You think it's best to not fly off the map? I mean, I wish you'd told me. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, I guess I wanna run that again, right? Without without the uh the stupid death thing. Um, right, yeah, because I definitely didn't get all the gems, did I? Okay, that seems to be the end of that. That was Oh. Blech. Easy spy, right? <clears throat> okay, I think I've got to go around again now at this point. Unless, um, I mean, a lot of levels, they'll like, unlock a shortcut to get to the, uh, back to the other end of the level, but I don't see, no, if I'm seeing one here. Oh, actually, hang on, here we go. Oh, actually, this is getting us over here, is it? Okay. It's not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. Oh, I'll let you jump back over there if you want. Um, oh, fuck. So I can pick up all the gems. I've got to... Now, I shouldn't have to uh, shoot the... Um, the burbs down again. Get up there, buddy. <laughs> but it looks like I will have to... Uh, shoot that... Chest again. Way too high. Wrong target.
This is a little frustrating. I guess I got lucky last time. Yeah, I can't tell whether I'm if we're going higher or lower with this. <coughs> ah, we're not supposed to be doing that spy, eh? God damn it. Okay, can we get it for this one? Ah, this one actually might be easier, right? Never mind. <laughs> I, I, I got it before, Gazzy, on the, on the other one. I was like, look at me and my skills. It's like, yeah, unnecessary skills. Skills that nobody needed. <laughs> God. Got enough crabs in it up in here. What the hell? being up here necessarily. Okay. <clears throat> as you should, Root. As you should. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever had any, like, um life advice from anyone that I've really taken to heart and has been useful. I feel that everything I've learned in my life about how to I say live a better life or whatever but it's just tr literally trial and error from me. Nobody's ever come along and gone, hey isn't it, let me tell you this this is very important and you should heed this and this will help you in life loads. Um... Because some people say you should, you know, you got to learn from your own mistakes. Some people say you should learn from others who are successful. But I don't know. I feel on some level to be successful is unique to everybody. Okay, now we've got guys. Anyone who can skateboard on sand is, I'm instantly kind of impressed with, to start with. <laughs> now, we're, is this, are we going to be able to skate in here as well? Okay, we can't get up there for a start. Now, um, how do I do anything with this? This is like a flying level, right? Some boost stars there. Speed stars. Oh, hang on. Ah, uh, poor Whittle Dragon. Did your friend go bye-bye? Now, now, don't worry. You'll be joining him. You'll soon be joining him, the sorceress. Okay, so I guess I need to save... Hunter, before I can do stuff in here. The vibe I'm getting. And the sorceress as well. What's her, with her attitude, right? It's one thing if you're going to be a bad guy, but having an attitude while you've been a bad guy is... I don't know. That's, that's a bit much for me. Okay, so I guess we'll have to come back to that. Right, okay, so I think I want to try and fly in there, don't I? And also, I'm not entirely sure I did definitely get all of the gems in the, the green water. Yep, 
Yeah, she's a bit rude. I mean, she's kind of one of those typical, like, uh, I don't know, those cartoon villains. I do find bad... I mean, and let's go this. This is a game for kids, isn't it? So it makes sense. But I, um... Every good story needs an antagonist. Um, or a bad guy. And sometimes the bad guys are... I, I think my favourite bad guys are ones who are irredeemably bad, but... There's like there's method to their madness. There's reason to what why they are why they are bad. They might be um uh you know completely reprehensible. There may be no justification for what they're doing, but at least they believe they have justification. Um and I guess the very best of bad guys is when you can understand things from their point of view. And especially if you can like put yourself in their shoes and you're like, actually Yes, this guy's a bad guy, but if I experience what they have, I would also be a bad guy. Um, as opposed to the sorceress in this, is just like, me, I, I take pleasure in being bad, me. <laughs> like, okay, it's like it's a kiddie bad guy, but it's it's fine. There's a place for it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna try and fly over to that cave I saw just above the river. There. Yeah, we're running on the plank. Yeah. Ah, bonus level. Okay, hope you don't need to hunt for this one. We said. These here waters used to be my favorite diving these spot. Here. <laughs> but I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling around. Think you can pilot this here sub I bought for scrap? Okay. Alrighty then. Press the jump button to speed on up. And when you get a sub in your sights, the torpedo will start to lock on. If you get a good lock on, fire away with the attack button. Alright, Ed. Think about crazy Ed, he doesn't seem that crazy. Alright. <laughs> right, okay. We're uh, running submarine now. Or piloting, I guess is the technical term. Oh, and we also get to be invincible. No, we don't. Oh, okay, you want the triple red. Okay, I see. Which is uh, easier said than done, apparently. God, these tricky bastards. Oh, I did it, and then I lost. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wonder if there's an easy way to get at this guy. I guess we get, if you get close enough, you can just... There we go. Well, I'll be darned. 
Who so done? Excellent. Spills, <laughs> why don't you have this here egg as a reward? I will. Ethel. That's my that's my niece there. By the way. Yeah, they were. That was. I would rather do that 500 times longer than that uh, route than uh, <laughs> than do that dragon shit we were doing earlier. I don't know if you. Actually, I think you came in route just after we'd done that, right? Well, Let's chase some dragons around. Again, there be even more subs that turn come out of nowhere. If you could blast them, I could use this acid lake as my swimming hole again. Are you sure you want to do that, Ed? Swimming in acid? Darn tootin'. Maybe, maybe that's why they call him crazy, Ed. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, seven, eh? So I guess that's... Just for when you're, uh... Just when you come back here without the sub. I assume that's a thing. This one's easy. so far seems easier than the first round. So they're going to be worse, right? <laughs> Alright, one more somewhere. Oh! Well, I hate to ask your help again. Sorry, did I fail at the end there because he attacked me? Or, or I just I bumped into him? I don't know. Slightly annoying, but where for? Here we go. They just turn around. Unlike the, it's kind of different to the way the, the dragons, they were just doing their thing. They just crash right into you. And gave no fucks about anything. Right, okay. Okay, just this one. I've got to make sure he doesn't kill me, apparently. I don't know if that's true, Ed. Yeah, it's my, it's my Dolores. Yeah, I don't judge all my nieces. Like, you know, they're all equal to me, Ed. <laughs> Lol. I, I guess now I just go swimming, right? Right, yeah, and I can use that as a top up when I need it. Which I'm going to need it more than a few times, no doubt.
some in the tunnels as well, right? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Spy. Gonna make it. Gonna make it. Oh! That'd be a mighty close one there, me arties. Do be cutting it five. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I was getting cocky. Getting far too cocky. I hope it's kept all those gems though, right? No doubt, no doubt, right? So yeah, some of the some of the, the baby dragons, some of them look like real smart and um like they've got they do like a little flip or they're going places, you know, they got like a little uh, a little accessory or they're like you know, you know, hey yeah, yeah, you you you've got a good bright future ahead of you. And then some of them are derpy as all hell. <laughs> and you're like, oh. Oh, okay, no. Then. <laughs> Don't worry, Bob. We'll look after you. It's, uh, it's not how you can look after yourself, right? <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes it'd be like that. But, you know, look. you, you got to love all your children equally. Well, not Spyro's children, but it's nieces and nephews or whatever they are. Now, is that everything in here? We got sparks up there. In here? No, surely not. In here? Now I'll clear this tunnel. I was getting before I got myself killed. Right, it does seem to be heading, wanting to head out this way, so I'm going to assume, at least for now. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So I've uh, cleared this bonus level. No, no, I haven't. Sparks. You see, yeah, uh, giving some issues, Sparks. Okay, he's pointing directly at the exit, and I'll step there, and he's like, "No, I can't even. I can't take him seriously right now. Let's just go." Right, the fact that he's not looking directly at the level there suggests that. Oh wow, really? <laughs> Suggest to me at least that these are done. Okay. Let's go on this way, I guess. Or maybe not. Ow. Yeah, yeah. They're, oh, they're still cute. <laughs> but you're like, oh my god. Yeah. Right, you got to have balance. Balance is what this life is about, right? We can't all be smart. Like you, right? <laughs> all I'm saying, Root, is if there was a, a derpiness contest and the only participants in the contest were you and me, I mean, I guess if it's a contest of derpiness, as opposed to not derpiness, I guess I would, I would fancy my chances. <laughs> Unless, of course, Scotty was like taking part, then obviously he would win. So it's no, 
Be no no real competition then. Right. Down down here, Sparks. Oh, are we getting we going for a swim? I need to find the um Ah, okay. Right, okay, I'll see. I'm gonna grab this and then go this way rather than that way. Yes, here we go. Any more Spyro? Better quickly think about it. Remember then. Right. What next, buddy? Looking this way. Okay. Cave up there. Yeah, because we went for the plank onto into there, but maybe I can get up there as well, right? Maybe. I need to think about that, honestly. Agreed. <laughs> Scott is like, no, obviously. What? That goes without saying. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> now, can I make this jump? It's got quite a long way, doesn't it? Oh, no. I mean... No, I really don't see how... Um, mm, okay. Let's see if we can get it from the other side, I guess. Not ideal. Ow. Okay, no, I don't want to be on this way. I do want to be on this way. I think. I, don't, I kind of don't even know anymore on this level. <laughs> I've been pirating since well. Before I can rightly remember. Go on. Two more coffee break. Overdue. <coughs> right around the second. I still not finished messing around down there. I don't. I'll do have to do have to fly for that actually. I just fly over there to start with. Obviously, I want to shoot it for a third time. Yeah, it's nothing even. No. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, constantly getting distracted with other stuff. Okay, let's go get those gems. <laughs> As I should have done, like, five years ago. Oh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Sorry, uh, well, we shall see. Is it particularly good? Finally, get these freaking gems, bro. How are we doing? 
Oh, there's an egg for swimming through the acid. Oh, there must be uh, an acid section I've completely missed then. Hmm. It could be it could be these, could be any of these acid balls, couldn't it? Really? Who actually even knows which ones I've checked and which ones I haven't? Yo, fusion! God, so I'm distracting myself. <laughs> Every time I do that. <clears throat> Oh, excellent. You're doing it uh, in stages. Excellent, Fusion. So how long before you were uh, fully out, do you reckon? A couple of days. I can't actually get further up there. Come on, I don't think so. I don't think we can get up in the... Crow's nest door. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> circles most of this level. Yeah, I'm still, uh, Get the hell over there. I can't get on top of that upended ship there, can I? I can't, oh, I can't. Maybe I can just jump from here. Or maybe I can jump on that sand dune. I wonder. Oh, you can! Okay, see, I've been looking at that the whole g game, being like, I can't, I can't jump on this. Now, hopefully... <clears throat> I think I can make that. I think I'm just, I'm just a bit shit. That's all. I can uh, overcome that. Um, I think that's what you're supposed to be doing. I'm constantly going the wrong way in this level. Yeah, it's a lot of backtracking and running around um, every time you uh, miss a jump. Oh. Ugh. Why is she changing the locks then? If she's just going to give you keys, <laughs> what's the point? And what's the purpose of changing the locks? Does somebody else have keys that she doesn't want getting in? Okay, and you can just yeah, you can just hop onto there. Okay, let me try this again. I feel like I should be able to do this. Just feel slightly off. Um, can let me just get around to the other side, maybe, and have a have a look around properly to make sure there's definitely uh, there's definitely nothing up there. Let's get a, a different way. There is it? Or is it? Or is it on this side there? No, I'm not quite round there yet. God, I'm keeping any kind of 
reasonable amount of direction sense. Oh! Spyro. He's like, why do you hate me? So this is there. So let's get onto that ledge there. Now, that's a little too high for him to get up here. So I wonder if I need to swim up to it. I'll just need to swim this water here, because I... I'm not sure if I, uh... How much, if any, I got out through here. Now... Did I already go in this bonus level? I can't remember it. Uh, yeah, okay, this is where we need Hunter. This, so, yeah, okay. Let's put in some sand skating, I guess. Um... Okay, so... The only thing I think of at the moment is to get the power up and then go swimming in some of this acid. That's not how we do that. I'm going to less speed, eh? I'm going to step out for a minute. It was going to be like a secret thing or something. <laughs> right, okay, so we jump down here. I haven't really last long enough to. Oh, it probably helps if I swim the right fucking direction, though, doesn't it? I've already been in this section, but. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I do usually. Okay, I need to jump off this side of it. Yeah. I do usually flatly, but... Sometimes they're off. What is this, uh... Is it off? Is that another skeleton in the crow's nest? A dead man. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm trying to be clever. Right, okay, so I want to jump on that side of the ship. Sure, I've got it. Get down in there. Oh, can you... Is that not deep enough to swim in? Oh, okay, well, there we go. We learned that. <laughs> okay, so I've got this one here. Although, I'm not sure if I've... No, I don't think I've swam in this one at all. Okay. Sherry doesn't just last a little bit longer, you know? Never mind. Well, then you have a paradox. Right. Because if you trust your instinct to not trust your instinct, then you're not trusting your instinct to not trust your instinct. And then what, then what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, so I'm jumping off this side. Down that direction, okay. Oh. 
watch this be one of the ones I've already done. Oh, and I asked you, oh, I just put this right back there. Oh dear, I know I should have known, really, if you look at it. <laughs> if you look at the position of it. Um, oh god, I don't know. Right. <laughs> My plan is to not have a plan. Sounds like a good plan. No, it's not a plan. You just, yes it is. <laughs> I can't climb up the fucking mast, can I? I, don't, I really don't think I can, can I? I can't get up any higher on this. Oh, is maybe that sand dune there is higher. It looks like a lot further to go though. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no! Boy, don't do that, Spyro. Hmm, maybe though. Let me give it a go. It's just all, the, this level is just all the backtracking. Aesthetically, this might be one of my favourite levels, but... The fact that it just goes on. I wonder if I could I just jump from here. No. Why would... Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. Of course you can. <laughs> What's that? Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 Spyro, come on. God, that's touching. I don't even know if I actually keep, I can walk along that, honestly, at this point. Keep trying, though. I need to know for certain. side of the left here this i mean what is even what is he where you stood on right now spyro what's going on bro oh oh okay i think maybe you actually can't it's just so very strange i really don't i mean you can, you might have to fool the game into thinking you are you can get up there but i don't I think you actually can, and realistically, looking at that distance there, even if he jumps from the apex, I don't think that's actually going to be enough height. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I've, I'm probably at that point flatly. You can probably tell me if you know. Um, I'm going to step out for a couple of minutes, though, guys. I'm way overdue for uh, my coffee. So I'll, I'll be back in a few.
Right, sorry for the delay there, guys. I had to uh, also remove a cat from the room. You know what they're like. Uh, ooh. Uh, thank you, uh, Flatlease, th for the clue. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking along the right lines. I need to find, use invisibility and just use the right, find the correct pool of acid to swim through. Um, yeah, so sometimes she's incredibly cute and other times she's incredibly annoying right that's always sneaking in because I, I, I could leave her in here and then she'd be like trying to climb up on me while i'm streaming uh or more even more likely she'll realize that i'm not paying any attention to her so she's decided to leave well i've already closed the door so i've got to get stand up and open the door for her and it's like <laughs> come on cat at least learn to open doors um right okay so this this pool of acid here directly links to the ship Right, and we I've already been in that one. I know that doesn't really go anywhere. Um, well, in fact, maybe if they, those two even link there. I'm not sure. But there might have been like a tunnel in one that I've missed. That's the only thing, right? Now that one doesn't go anywhere. That's, that's can't even swim in that. Right, and then you've got this acid down here, which I'm sure I've swam all the way through. But, I mean... Yeah, those two are linked, definitely. But if it's getting over to that... Somehow getting over to that platform, you'd think that... It'd be over here, right? But yeah, we've got acid over there. Now, can I f can I fly all the way over to that there without going the long way around? I wonder. Maybe I can. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Here we go. That's not going to work doing that, but um, I don't think it's enough time to get all the way around to the other side, is it? Jump back onto this ship to then go all the way around the back way there. It's I don't think there is. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Root. Yeah, it's just you. <laughs> just you. Um, no. Uh, no, Flatley. I'm trying to figure out which one to go to and which and how to go about doing it. Unless it, you, unless you, your clue of overthinking it is that I'm not supposed to jump up here. I'm supposed to just dive into there and find the way through of where I should be going. Which is definitely not through here, is it? Or is it? Oh, no, I am on the other side now, aren't I? And now I'm going to be dead. It doesn't... So I got through, but it doesn't go anywhere. I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Let's, have, let's give it another go. <laughs> I thought I could have made it out, Rue. Really. Obviously not, right? <laughs> Obviously not. 
Right, okay, um... This way? No, this way. I, f I feel like we just spent 84 years on this level now. Okay, there we go. I was there. I just didn't realise I was there. All right, Chad. Go home. Little derpa. Right, okay, and that puts you there, which is just is an exit. Okay, well. Okay, that's got this is swim through the uh, acid uh, egg. Now, the next one says on this, skate race the Rhinox. So we know where that is. That's the bonus level, which we need Hunter for. And there's a second egg, which is probably the second level of that. Now, there's also a bunch of gems we haven't found. 89? There might be 89 in that bonus level where we're skating around quite easily. And that is the direction he's looking. So I'm going to assume at this point that until we get Hunter back, we're done with this level. Oh. terrible I would, i'd gone in there but because i didn't see anything i didn't think to go to the surface because i thought i was still outside so to speak idiot yeah overcomplicating things that's just, that's the uh story of my life flatly <laughs> but it must be this way why must it isn't it be i don't know <laughs> well it's not okay i'll try and learn my lesson Now, where 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 do I go and save Hunter though? That's the next question, isn't it? Bamboo Terrace as well. I wonder. Oh, you know what? Bamboo Terrace. I and got freaking molten crater as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the molten crater. That is like. It looks like a speed boost thing that I can't, like, really get going. As far as I can tell, there's nothing I can... I'm chasing after a guy, and there's no way to catch up with him. It's, I need to go faster somehow. But there's nothing around that suggests that is the case. Bamboo Terrace, I believe... We might be able to do this now. So smash the mountain top. Um, and I'm going to guess we saw a sign for Bentley there. I'm gonna I'm gonna travel there and we'll see if we can clear bamboo terrace now. But yeah, back on back at the uh the magma crate, I don't mm, um, unless the unless the monkey character has like a um super speed boost. I don't know. I don't know. Let's um let's just keep going. But yeah, I think there's um a thing for Bentley to do. But obviously when we were here last, we had not unlocked him yet. Not that Bentley's my favourite or anything, but his little brother's a pain in the ass. Right. Let's try this way first. And it might have been at its own level. I don't know. Ow. 
Ah, yes, he was blocked off. Here we go. Ah, a fine day for a bit of a walk. I was just heading to the top of my favourite hill. We are. Well, that's good, Bentley. It's your annoying little brother. Hey, I think I saw some rhinox run up to the top of that hill with an egg. All right, let's let's kill them. And smash everything along the way. All right. Oh. Really? And you can hit me twice. Yeah, I wish I wish you could run. <laughs> How are we a yay? How are we not a yay? I don't know what to say. It's Bentley. It's Bentley and his little brother Bartholomew. He's he's the world boxing champion. Come on, this you know you know Root Bentley. Shit. Oh, okay. That's the thing. <laughs> I guess you didn't get this far in the game, uh, Rui. Did you get... Did you meet Sheila? You must have met Sheila, right? Remember Sheila? <laughs> right, of course. <laughs> Officer. Um... Yeah, I think this is uh, the first Roots uh, scene of... A, oh, shit. I thought that was out. Of, oh, we're dead, are we? Okay. Never mind. You weren't that good, but you mentally. Um, playing any of this. But we have played them themselves. And uh, obviously, get, uh, get to the point where Bentley is uh, introduced. You, you mean Sheila, the kangaroo? From Down Under? I think you meet her in the first five minutes of the game, uh, Ray. <laughs> not, not, I'm not, no, that's not trying to sling some kind of superiority complex or anything. <laughs> you probably you probably did meet Sheila, you forgot about her. But yeah, there's like bonus characters you play as. Uh, Sheila's the first one, she's a kangaroo. Um, the second one is Sergeant Bird, who's a penguin that flies around and has rocket launchers. And Bentley's the uh, the fourth one, who's uh, as you can see, is very much a yeti. Um, there's hints that there's uh, going to be a fourth character already, which we've just recently seen, uh, who's probably going to be a uh, a monkey of, of some kind, by the looks of it. But where he is and what he does, I don't know. Oh, that was weak of me. Wow, I'm really not good at as playing as Bentley. Oh, right, you did reach Sergeant Bird. Oh, you got a little way into it then, Root. Yeah, you, you must have just forgotten about Sheila. She, I mean, she's not that inspiring, honestly. Bless her. Oh, you did meet Sheila. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, yeah. So, Bentley the Yeti is the third character after uh, Sheila and Sergeant Bird. Ow. Yeah, I just need to be a bit more careful with... Uh, we're trying to use the defense attack a bit more. Defense, defense attack? It's not really an attack, I don't think. It kind of looks like it, though. Like it could be. Oh, 
What's up down here? What's that TNT? Did I get up here too quickly? Oh, of course Bentley can't barely jump. Okay, so we have to go this way. I attack far too soon or far too early. It's not good. Okay, that's where he came from, wasn't it? Let's just grab these. Alright, we'll get a point of health. What it's worth. Oh no, it's full heal. Oh, the, oh, the, the, uh, are the bugs in jars full heals? You know what? I never could, uh, never could tell. Never guess I've probably never paid enough attention. Brubeck. Hey, buddy. Let me go. Now, hopefully, this will be the, all the rest of the gems on this level as well. And it is. Nice. There we go. Bamboo Terrace 100%. -ed. Okay, so I guess we want to go over to Evening Lake and then head on to the fourth hub world before we do some backtracking uh, later. Yeah, 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 right. You saw, Root. You saw. James! Hello, James. How you doing, buddy? How was, um, was it Monday? How was the pub on Monday? Was it good? You get drunk? Or, or not? Right, that's the worst. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like one or the other, right? Oh, you just want me to upload, upload my uh, resume so you can just look at it for ease of both of us? Yeah, okay, there you go. Or they're like, no, we want you to write out some stuff with these pressing questions about who you are as a person. Okay. Oh, sorry, you want me to do both? I'm so, uh, I do not envy you right now, Ru, you're dealing with that nonsense. Flatley's also trying to look for a better job at a minute. Uh, oh yeah, Buzz's Dungeon Spikes Arena. Yeah, we've, that's the t previous boss fight. So Midnight Mountain is the, uh, the next place we're going. Okay. Let's hope we can save Hunter here and also meet a monkey friend. You're good. That's good. The pub was great. That's great. You got beaten up by your friend. Now, like, as in, like, you actually had a fist fight? Now, was this a friendly, drunken fist fight? I've had enough. Sorry, let me go through this. <laughs> a monster to end all monsters. <laughs> Too late. I'm going Look to in the mirror. Send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings. I thought yes, you wanted the dragons yes. here. Yes, it will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them. Oh, oh, oh yes, smear them and smush them and crack them and crease them. Let me out of here, right, you. Monkey. But uh, won't that kill them? It doesn't matter. As long as I can still collect their wings. That's the wings that I have for magic. What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl. I need them for a spell so I can live forever. Uh, oh. Wait a second. A, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? 
You said just <laughs> keeping buddy. them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. Wow. You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. There you go, Stupid, Bianca. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, Well, she should I? be safe then, right? Ah, yes. <laughs> Well, this is gonna get real ugly. <laughs> why, why that monkey cannot get out of that cage, I have no idea. Ah. Right, okay. So, in Midnight Mountain, in our rocket ship. Oh, inside somebody's skull. This oh, this is a fight. Our last stand, Spyro. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition. Beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavor to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. I see. That's the same as the other boss fight. Okay. Boss fights. My god, look at this guy. Fucking demon. Um. So, all of this time, Bianca has been helping, helping the sorceress. With the understanding that this is the place that the dragon's originally from, and they need to return here, or the magic will fade from the world, and then that will be bad. Turns out, actually, that's bullshit. The sorceress just wants the dragon wings to cap because they are necessary, their proximity or their essence, or whatever, is necessary for a spell that will just make her live forever. And that's actually all she cares about. Typical, right? Typical. Um. Oh. Oh, well, excellent. <laughs> excellent, James. Oh, yeah, sorry. When you said that, I was uh, thinking, oh, fuck. He's not falling out with his buddy and they just beat each other up. Uh, or you got beaten up and you, like, got seriously injured. No, you're not seriously injured. You just got some sexy bruises. Right. Okay. Now, <laughs> is this you actively trying to turn him, James? Or is this you inactively trying to turn him? And um, what's going on there? Uh, <laughs> he was like, James, you know what would be a great idea? And you're like, what? And he's like, let's get half naked and roll around on my bed together. And you're like, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I wasn't even thinking about that. But yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. Okay. That's, um, I mean, I guess, uh, you know, it, I guess from your point of view, it, you know, no, no, no harm, no foul. Have you spoken to him since? Is he like, yeah, let's, let's not talk about what we did the other night rolling around half naked with each other on my bed. Or is he like, hey, James, you want to come over for a, Another for a rematch, <laughs> but this time, no pants. Um, well, there you go, James. When you say the friend, what you meant is new boyfriend. <laughs> well, perfect. Well, not boyfriend, I guess. James is, you know, I guess you, you know, you keep your options open, right? Underwear only. Well, there you go. So, well, that's good. Sounds like you had a good time then, buddy. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, no, yeah, it's not boyfriend material. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know what, Flatley? I don't know if there'll be a third time of necessary. Second time they start in underwear, will they be wearing it by the time the second time's over? I don't, you know. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, look. Uh, James is a power unto himself, fruit, you know. Clearly, and also a power unto his friend, his his naked wrestling friend as well. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so who's the, oh, this guy we're fighting? He's blasting fireballs at us. 
which seem to be quite strong. Now, what's this? I've got 50 out of 200 watt missiles. Now, that's like a force field, right? I see. I see. I think I see, at least. Are we doing some of this? Oh, oh, we've got crabs, haven't we? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Obviously, when he's got his uh, force field looking thing there, but it, while the, all the time the crabs are out, he's not going to be. Uh, There we go. So the green ones are probably better, right? Well, they're not the same the red ones, right? But red ones are pretty good for the little enemies, right? Oh! Fuck. Yeah, so I shouldn't have put the green one up there, should I? Boxes of TNT just running at you. I don't know what to make of that. Okay. So that seems to be the issue here. I'm not really sure what to, um, to be doing about this. Crabs, fine. But it's when the TNT comes out, it's uh, it's a problem. Oh, really? Oh. The aiming on it is awful. It's like there isn't really any aiming. Oh my god. This is... It's not hard, it's, but it just, just feels kind of awkward. Yeah, so it's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do about these? Little rats. How do I get rid of them before they eat me? Okay, so yeah, okay, so you can just run. You can just flee from them. That's good. Oh. Oh, that was that guy. Explodey demon. James! Here you are all along. We got you out of your egg, buddy. Well, there we go. <laughs> I fought my friend at the pub and all I got was this boyfriend. <laughs> so, look, I can't help it if I got an erection while I was rolling around with my friend on his bed while we were half naked. It's, it's just nothing to do with me, is it? <laughs> Garuda! Garuda's like, pardon, isn't him? 
Oh, no, I was doing an impression of uh, James there. Well, that wasn't me. I didn't do that. <laughs> well, Greedo, how you doing, bro? What's going on? Starving. There's no time for that hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? <clears throat> this could be another trap. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. This is true. Also, you can easily step out of that cage whenever you want. I never thought we were going to hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. <laughs> I never thought that the children that we were going to kidnap uh, were going to get hurt. I thought the human trafficking was just to move people around. I didn't think there was going to be any harm in it. <laughs> I mean, not human trafficking, obviously. Dragon trafficking, I guess you would say. But you, you, see, you see my point I'm trying to make. But again. For, uh, for the target audience of this game, it, the, the characters and the aesthetic are perfect, right? It's just, I can't... I know, like, so, you know, some people, like... Uh, like Squid, she likes a lot of like the Disney Pixar movies and stuff, and I I like them when I was a kid, but I can't. It's hard for me to engage with them now. I'm older, um, which is my loss, right? Uh, so it's, it, I can take a I can take um a story in a game for like this for what it is, but I'm not like, oh my god, this is so awesome! I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it I'm gonna pick it apart. I'm gonna. <laughs> On a point out where it's been silly. Um, I'm very well, Garuda. How are you, sir? What's going on? Are you well? Uh, you are you presumably you're on summer break now. Now I know for a man in your profession that doesn't necessarily mean you have a lot of time off. You probably got a bunch of stuff you uh need to do. Um, but are you well anyway, Garuda? You're looking after yourself, bro. Um, and um, I hope life is treating you well. I hope everything is good in your life. I mean, I know the world is in freaking sane. Pretty much all of the world now is crazy. Uh, in many, many different regards. But I hope you are good, buddy. It's coming to a close soon. Yeah, just been trying to make the most of it, no doubt. <laughs> James is like, do be serious, Isnib. My... My blood alcohol uh, ratio was just making an erection not possible. Yeah, I um, I guess I don't I don't drink enough to kind of really know what my boundary of that is. I guess. Um, but yeah, I think I and mean, we're probably all different in our ratios, but that affects everybody too. Uh, you get to a certain point. Yeah, that's fair. But I wonder if you'd start uh, sobering up by that point, James. I guess is what I'm saying. But maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, sorry, Greedo's come in there for a nice chat, and he's like, "What are you? What are you degenerates talking about?" It is. It is what it is. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got a bit of the the, uh, the COVID. Oh my god. Are you putting in pretty good now? Okay, I'm glad you've recovered from that, Greedo. Because. Uh, can be affecting people in many different ways. Some people can just be like, we feel a bit shit for a couple of days. And other people can, well, we all know, don't we? But, but yeah, so have you been up to anything in particular, Greed? Or have you just been, uh, just been chilling, making the most of it? Oh, I don't mean to go in there, Spyro. No, stay here. There we go. <laughs> right, here we go. So, um, Midnight Mountain. The fourth hub world. Trust me, but I want to help you stop the sorceress. There's a way to open a hidden portal to her lair, but it'll take some very strong magic. If you can find more of the dragon eggs, I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal. I'll come so find we can you kill her. have enough eggs, okay? That's your plan, basically. Uh, and that's not hyperbole. There's low-key murder and violence in this trilogy like just one cutscene in the previous game where a guy accidentally killed his uh, his friend and then covered it up and you're like what 
what? It was kind of wild. Anyway, which way are we going? I guess we're going to go this way first. Oh, this seems like an, an interesting place. Oh. Oh, money bag is going to let the monkey out. Look what I have here. It's a life-size space monkey action figure, complete with a fully operational laser. I'd love to let him out so you can play with him. It's not an action figure, money bags. Seems to think he's a menace. he's a person. Nine hundred gems to free the monkey. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course. You've always had a weakness for helping silly little creatures, haven't you, Spyro? Ah, oh, well, I suppose there couldn't be any harm in letting him out, could there? Yeah, it's it's called compassion money bags. Obviously, not something you know anything about. <laughs> hey, dog guy, hey, doing there, buddy? What's going on? Thanks, Spyro. Oh, say, you ever see a bear dance? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, go on. Kill him. He literally has a laser gun. Quite the dancer, isn't he? Not much stamina, though. Too bad I had a lot more ammo left. <laughs> anyway, I heard all about how you've been fighting the sorceress and It's uh, kind of high energy. I just to say, Huzzah, yippee, I should go stay, but my homeworld's been overrun by Rhinox since I've been killed. <laughs> if you happen to see the sorceress, tell her I'll be giving her dancing lessons real soon. You know what I mean? You bet. <laughs> wow, this guy is, um, he's a thing. He's a whole thing, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> ah, you enjoying the, uh, the new, uh, Final Fantasy fourteen expansion. I've, I've not spoken to my brother about it too much. I know he's got through the MSQ already. Oh. Oh, interesting. It's gone a bit sci-fi. Now, didn't they in the pre... It's Endwalker, the previous expansion. Didn't they go... Isn't that, like, directly inspired by Final Fantasy IV? Didn't they, like, literally go to the moon? So if it's more sci-fi than going to the moon, I don't know what to say about that, Grey Dragus. <laughs> uh Oh, Heavensward, though, Rue, is fantastic. Yeah, so good. <clears throat> um, Yeah, I never played them, though, guy, back in the day. But the remakes are fantastic. Yeah. It's far more sci-fi than going to the moon time travel I mean a time travel can just be as much fantasy as it can so far anyway I'm not going to play it so it doesn't affect me <laughs> okay okay interesting I, I'm, I'm curious though because I'm, I'm generally a fan of um, I'm a fan of both sci-fi things and fantasy things uh, and I guess um, I uh, fractionally, like a 51 to 49 ratio, prefer fantasy. Um, so it's pretty close, but that's where I would prefer. But I do like anything that does a good job of blending the two together. Uh, a lot of stuff tries it and it can be a bit jarring and it doesn't work very well. Uh, but some things do manage to blend it quite well. Um, so I'm curious. Solution 9. What the fuck? Yeah, actually, I'm not sold on the gameplay. That's my problem with that. It's, I, I enjoyed it for what it was like when I played it back in the day. But Chronicles of Amber. I have not heard of that, though, guy. What, do tell. What is that? And that, how are you doing, buddy? Are you good? So rather than Solution 9, let's uh, check out Agent 9. Very high energy little space monkey guy here. 
um, technically is going to be our new ally, obviously, so, which um, has got his own level here, presumably. Um, he's going to be the fourth animal guy friend we play as. Then he'll have a few uh, bonus stages throughout. And then, of course, it'll presumably help us with the fourth boss as well, much like we saw Bentley helping us there in the third boss. What was that? Did you see a Rhinoc? I thought I saw a Rhinoc. Ooh, take it from me, Spyro. Never spend a week in a cage. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, your whole island will be knee-deep in Rhinocs. Well, gotta go. Mr. Laser Blaster and I have a whole lot of work to do. No! Lol, okay, we're late. We're you laser blasting uh, some Rhinox. Ah, Agent Nine, my what's, favorite what's, pupil. what's he doing here? The professor from the second game? Island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the entire island. Could you stop them before they destroy all my research? Oh, oh okay. All right, so we're permanently in a got a little Amy thing going on here. Now, how, how far is... What's the range on this laser gun? Oh, far. But it seems to not, maybe not affect those guys. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Zelowski, I've not, uh, I've not, uh, it's fantasy author. Oh, okay. Okay, that sounds interesting. It'll be just like old times. Try shooting these dummies to get warmed up, but to uh, be careful. I think a Rhinoc might be hiding amongst them. Lol. Yeah, go on. Yes, is a. That means it's not too awkward. Kind of a kind of slightly different. Better to run around with this guy than friggin' Is that a potion? <laughs> um than Bentley. Okay, so how do we get to that then? Are we speaking to uh the boss man again? Huh? Oh, it's because I've Mr. Target. Forget it. Yeah, I don't know what I need for that then. A vast number of Rhinox are waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I will kill them all. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they emerge. Oh, okay. Ready? Okay, I'll do that. I'll do it already. Okay. There's another door at the end of this beach, and Rhinox will keep coming out until you shoot the red panic button. Work your way up the beach by dodging and using the natural cover on the right side. Okay. Do that. And also just get short as well. That's fine. Not competition. <laughs> natural cover? What natural cover? The, the cover on the right side. I mean, I guess he means just like staying here. What? 
Whatever, bro. How these two know each other, I don't know. Are hiding behind the display screen. I'll switch on the view pedestal and you shoot them as they attack. <clears throat> I recommend using your sniper mode. Oh. All right. Where are they coming from there? Oh, okay, I'll see. Well, that's no good, is it? Try not to fall. Yeah, try not to fall off. No shit, buddy. Yeah, fuck you, sniper mate. Can't move around when you're in sniper mode. <laughs> sniper mode. Oh my god. shape the machine room is in. I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean. Yeah, we're a monkey now, Gassy. We are running around as a monkey. So that name is Agent 9. And considering how high energy is, he doesn't want to say anything at the moment for some reason. Yeah, it is a bit. It is a bit tank controly, And there's not a lock-on button, uh, day guy. Which is, um, yeah... Yeah, you can probably imagine how it feels to run around and play as this character just based on what you're seeing at the minute. So, um, yeah. It's fine. It could be it could be worse. It could be Bentley. <laughs> I mean, he is pretty quick on his feet. That's for sure. Just as I thought, the machine room is overrun with birds. To target the birds <laughs> in their nests, you'll want to use sniper mode. Then zoom in for pinpoint accuracy. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, I don't even have to be that accurate. Pinpoint accuracy. I don't have to be that. Oh, you can even zoom in even more there. You really don't have to be that accurate. Or oh, you don't even have to use that at all, apparently. Nice work, Agent Nine. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bird egg or dragon egg. It's a dragon egg. Um, uh, uh, Beulah. Beulah. What's going on, Beulah? Switch the gravitonometric generator back on. I hope no birds got in here. Yeah, they probably did. Uh, <laughs> um, so this is just uh, Spyro's fourth monkey buddy. Monkey. Animal buddy who we're playing as. This is just doing his level real quick. I oh, just sitting in the nests again. Okay. Oh, okay. It's got all, uh, it's all a mag. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, two more. Yeah. It's quicker than. Amen. There we go. <clears throat> the lab's clear, and it smells better in here already. Now follow me outside, where I expect we'll find some Rhinox wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them. Yeah, you gonna give me one of those? Um. Sorry, the the bird's been alive, and uh, presumably pooping everywhere. It obviously doesn't smell good. Well, 
30 seconds after they've all been massacred and there's blood and feathers and god knows you know bird guts everywhere that smells better i th i think this professor is not <laughs> He's like, oh, it smells better already. It has no sense of smell. It will smell better. Give it like about a week to air out. And get the, the janitor in here to clean it up. But not right now. All we've done is add blood to the uh, the smell of bird poop. That's not really going to smell better, is it? Oh, you got for me, bro. By my calculations, the bombs in this handy vending machine should be highly effective against armor. Give it a shot. Okay. X to throw bombs. Press and hold to aim. Oh, I oh wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Although Oh. That was not too good. There we go. Okay, gotta be reasonably precise. Okay, that's cool. Um, now, I'm gonna get a refill there. Right, now, uh, I know there's uh, nothing on this chest back there, so it might actually be quicker just to keep going, but... So I don't uh, forget about it. Thankfully, this little monkey dude runs... Oh, there's a gem there I missed, so that was good. Um, that was the one that was in the cutscene, wasn't it? Cheeky. <laughs> I'm just going to head back real quick. It probably links right back up, but... Wow, okay. <laughs> I think you're probably better to aim these, I guess. Here we go. Oh yeah, do do that. <clears throat> So I don't know why I pressed that. But, oh. Do I need to... Okay, there doesn't seem to be any gems in these giant pineapples, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Get through him there. Yes. Okay. Nice. Maybe. Kind of. Awkward. Okay. What did you bring me back here for? Saving my laboratory. Now I can resume thinking. Resume. I would. I would recommend starting first. Rowan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you go in, Rowan. And now I've got to go. 
from I can get one. Oh no, okay, cool. The force field's down. Okay, that's fine. Damn. Yeah, how do I get on the other side of that one now, I guess? Or do I just shoot through it? No? Oh, we've got to get through that gap, maybe? Ah! There we go. Okay. Oh, what have we got in here? Some geezers. Gonna... Oh no, I can't just sit on this. Okay. I'll pull the bombs out if I feel the need to, I guess. Which, I mean, I may need to do that. Tony. Ain't in there, Tony. There's, um... The Rhinox are only bad guys because of the Sorceress, right? They're not actually bad guys, really. Presumably. Okay, I need another bomb. There's going to be a bunch of more of those, right? Or maybe just one. Or two. I don't even, I don't even think to look up there. Alright, we've got some more though, right? Sparks. to think to look up, not to only. Cool, that's everything. Alright, well that's Agent 9, the space monkey. Um, it's fun to shoot things, obviously. Um, but yeah, his controls and the aims is, is a little bit... Mm. Um, it feels, uh, feels better to run around as than, uh, Bentley, for example. Um, but yeah. Oh, we're done time. God, it's 20 past 8 already. Oh my god, guys. Well, we're definitely not complete today. I did just didn't start super early today, and, uh, we did have a couple of little, little TED Talks and things. <laughs> about various things. <clears throat> So that's to be expected. Anyway, so now we've got a uh, Bentley on side. So I could even go back to where we'd seen him previously. Lost. Is it a fireworks factory? Ah, well, you know what? Um, Hunter is free as well now, right? 
so I should be able to do the uh, the 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 pirate skating. I would assume. I want to go back and check these levels before we carry on. Um, I'm still, still not, not sure about the molten the uh, magma crater though. That's all the way back on the first hub world. I know what it is. I just don't know how to do it. Curious. I mean, it's possible that. Not likely, but it's possible that because the first and the second game, um, or the the second and the first game also had like this idea of you, you know, most of the stuff you can get as you get to it, but some you do need to do some backtracking after you've unlocked other abilities later on. Um, but they're usually not too far ahead. It's certainly possible that they could have um had a le a one little thing in one of the early levels that you cannot do until you're like basically the end of the game you have to go back and backtrack that far it's cut it would be definitely be unusual but it's not it's not impossible for sure right so i think was he directly up there he was wasn't he? Here. Yeah. yeah, down here, right? Here we go. Hey, Spyro. <clears throat> I'm helping a kid named Handel recover some secret rocket plans the sorceress stole. You know I'm always ready to kick some Rhinox booty. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Hi, Agent Nine. Oh. Behind those doors are some pretty scary ninjas. I bet you could use your sharpshooter skills to take them out. Remember, press the attack button to shoot, and use the roll left and roll right buttons to dodge left and right. All right, and then it's that's new. Now, what's that hundred? Is that his hit points? Are we playing first-person shooter now? He's not really doing any rolling. He's just moving. That's why he's got 100 life. We're playing to like. <laughs> it's like Doom. Yeah, it's not his ammo. Okay, yeah, I'll play a, I'll play a lot of brutal Doom, so this is not an issue. <laughs> We're gonna go through a perfect run there. Just one day. Let's rocket launch this for. I guess we'll go back and get the life. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about rolling left and right. That's just strafing, which I'm doing on the stick anyway. I don't know. I don't think they know what they're talking about half the time. Gems. <clears throat> Baby Luke Skywalker. <laughs> I mean. Oh, yeah, it's just a good guy. Yeah. What is funny, though, about uh, Handel and uh, Gretel, uh, presumably as opposed to Hansel and Gretel, uh, is that in the second game, they were like. Oh yeah, we're we're spies on a secret mission, and I was like, whatever, stupid kids. And now here they're like hanging out with the secret agent monkey. So I'm like, <laughs> what is what is even going on in the lore of Spyro? It's like it's so it's so wacky. Oh my god! Oh. Oh, 
guys on the ceiling before they drop down. Beyond us. <clears throat> How many ninjas are in these boxes? Well, wow, I guess they're magical ninjutsu boxes but it has infinite ninjas in them I guess that is the idea Again, they're just trying to put different uh, gameplay mechanics in, uh, and this is nothing bad or awkward about this, but I wonder how much this really adds to the game. Never mind, eh? <clears throat> Patty. All right, Patty. How you doing? Little derp stuff. Go on. What's going on here? Oh, that's a problem. Oh, we got to fight our way out now. Bloody hell. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, you crazy kids.
three boxes. Okay. Right, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I get, or even just the fact that, um, not the whole section, but why why go first person when we've just done third person? You could have just easily left it as third person, and it would not have been uh, an issue. It would have been totally fine. I need to rescue myself first, Sandal. Donovan. Hi, oh, Donny. Go on home. Uh, anyway, sorry uh, if I missed you there, Gazzy. Gonna be distracted here, but yeah. You take care, more dear. She's probably already gone. I, I, I do try and keep an eye on chat as best I can, but a lot of it depends on it, what exactly I'm currently doing in the game. Something that's quite uh, free-flowing like this is... Um, something that I have to specifically... Like, not necessarily even pause the game, but like literally stop what I'm doing to look down at chat. Um, it means I can not look at chat for a couple of minutes. Um, so is that everything in this little mini-level? No, we've got ten gems I missed somewhere. Oh, fuck my life. Oh, there. I got that's just five though, the purple ones, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh. <clears throat> I can form purple gem. Yeah, fireworks factory, hundred percent. Okay, back to the pirate ship. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go dune skating. I'll try to. Just throwing water over my tip. <laughs> You think with a mouth this big, it's difficult for me to miss it, right? <sighs> it's always been a bit of a problem. Because <laughs> I'm thinking about food, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm consciously getting ready for it. Feeding time. Right, okay, I need to go over the other side, don't I? Shit. 
Right, surely going to be here now. Yeah, he is. There we go. Right, so these skateboarders, you kill them, knock them down, but then they just respawn. So what's going on here, Hunter? You're just in time. A Rhinox skateboard gang's challenged us to a race. Mm -hmm. They said you're slower than a molten crater fire slug. I stuck up for you, though. I told them I've seen some pretty fast fire slugs. Well, thanks for trying, Hunter. I don't think that's what you were saying. <laughs> I don't think that's what you were uh, supposed to say there. So, are you ready to race these guys? They bet us an egg that you won't win. Bring them on. Right on. You can use my special racing board. Every time you do a trick, it builds up turbo charge. Oh. You can use your turbos at any time by pressing the oh. charge button. Good luck. Um, right, okay. So, it's like a little turbo boost, but you can only hold so many and to accumulate them you need to do a trick okay um okay now suddenly the uh controls have changed kind of i actually or have they i think i'll just um i don't know why i couldn't let's try and do the race first oh there we go okay yeah you have to hold why Dickhead, I knew that. Okay, I'm so not going to win this race now, am I? Let's just... Should we just start again? <laughs> oh my god. I forgot. I'd forgotten what <laughs> I was doing. Oh, oh, okay. Let's just start this shit again, Chuck. Oh, no, you won't even let me start again. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, fucking dickhead. Right, okay, so that's your charge, okay. Lol. I mean, I, I wish you would just let me start again. This is kind of ridiculous. I think I should just try and collect the gems on this one. Slightly r ridiculous. <laughs> Lol. You're like, oh, you've lapped me, have you? Well, I'll just eat it you out of existence, buddy. <laughs> So clearly you need to jump in there, but you need some get some speed up on that. Yeah, and clearly there's a a specific way to do this. This optimal. I hope it keeps all my gems I've found, right? That'd be pretty freaking tragic if it doesn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need quite a boost to get over to that. Not even a massive boost. Okay, we're calling it. I can beat these guys with my tail tied behind my back. didn't you? I hope you do better this time, or we'll. All right. Okay. All right, I know what's going on now.
even though I'm fucking shit. <laughs> out of the game? I'm shit at it. <laughs> uh. Three out of the level? No, okay, cool. Sheesh. All right. There you go, it's quicker than fucking around. Well, I think the idea is to try and build your. Uh... Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. A little bit. <laughs> and then try and block like some particular. Oh my days. Do some particularly real good finish. Or sections. Um, you can't even go get the gems unless you're on the race. But I bet once you've done it, you can probably do it quite easily. Really? Oh, bro. This is... I'm supposed to not jump on that ramp. To <laughs> I swear to God. And what about this ramp here? I mean, that's not ideal. Mm. Oh, I can just get my my gems off in there. Okay, that didn't count apparently. Oh, and that, yeah, there's no point in fight. Just do that. <laughs> okay, I need to save that, actually, don't I? I should have saved that. Never mind. There we go. Gems for the win. Now, what's the blue star actually... Is that, what's that actually doing? Oh, that's giving you uh, a built-in little boost. Yeah, this is... I'm not good at this. It's like racing, but then you've got to like, keep hitting your tricks here and there. And then obviously you fuck up. Let's see if we can do this, uh... No, not ragey. It's... I mean, I like the idea of it. It's just, it feels very awkward. You better do it. I'm better doing the, uh, the turning ones instead. It's those ones. I say that was a crash. Okay, let's go again. Oh, there's still t 10 gems somewhere, apparently. Sheesh, what? All right. <clears throat> mm. Point of it. <laughs> I, 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 
I want to keep going, of course, but this might be ones where I need to like watch a video to know what the fuck I'm supposed to do optimally <laughs> than to try to emulate that rather than just trying to wing it myself. Doesn't seem to be to like anyone's advantage at the moment. <laughs> Uh, uh, really? I'm trying to save my uh, boost. I mean, I should not be doing that. This is the idea. Really? I don't know. What's your, <laughs> what's your opinion, Flatly? Are you good at this? Do you enjoy this? I, I should enjoy this. I just I feel the track is just kind of a bit of shit. <laughs> I don't know. I think they could have done something better with this concept. Right. Sheesh. All right. Am I supposed to not jump on that first ramp? Or just am I supposed to be using my boost there? A bit better. Mm. What's the trick? What's the fucking trick? Uh, okay, so the blue ones are like a boost without using your actual boost. Okay. What am I failing to understand here? <laughs> right. Okay. That, so maybe I'll feel the same when I get there. Is also, I don't know whether I. No, I'm not going to jump. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm maintaining. No, 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 no. <laughs> get, get fucked, right? Not after all that. <laughs> yeah, I think you're, uh, you're better off taking the high road there, aren't you? But if I don't have the boost, it's uh, not much to be uh, done for it. Oh, no, really? Really? Yeah, he said fuck you. That's what they said. Alright, so now I don't have the proper boost. I guess I have to go this way. Uh oh! Yeah, I'm just gonna stay on track there. Gotta burn my boost. I'm in mean, first though, somehow. If I just don't fuck up, I can just kind of race normally. Fuck my life, bro. Fuck my life. <laughs> Jesus fucking Louises. Jeez, what happened? Fuck you, Hunter. That's what happened, bro. Yeah, this is this is just this is easily doable. It's just I'm making a fucking 
mountain out of it. Right, I'm going to save some of that boost for a second. Gonna go all in. Go all the way to the high road. And we're going to start again. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awkward, but it doesn't seem like it's worth saving your boost. Uh, maybe for a ramp, so you can get a bit more height. And we get the shortcut through the uh, towards the end of the, the track. <laughs> I probably could have gone for uh, that one. Oh my days. We can get this finished in the next 10 minutes. We'll be very happy. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh. Sheesh. Sheesh yourself, bro. It's almost like it doesn't seem worth trying to pull anything off in that first Sheesh. one. feels like. I don't know. It's so hard to work, figure out what you can and can't, cannot get away with. Right, no jump. No jumpy. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Again, it, I like the idea of this, but it's just um, in, ex in actual execution. It's um, curious. There's been a few things like that in this game. Where I'm, I'm very much liking the idea of the... Uh, the concept of what they're trying to do. But I feel that, at least to my taste, there's, they've kind of failed on the execution a little bit. Again, that might just be me. <laughs> I think I want to be doing less... I want to do less tricks and only do them when I can really actually pull them off. Too much boost to, uh... What was that? I need too much boost to get... Oh, is it, was it a crab? Someone teleport up there? Or he just... He wasn't visible? I don't know. Jeez, Fucking no. I no, no, right. No doubt. No doubt, finally. 
Yards. Okay, I, I, I thought you could flame them, but it's just like maybe actually you can't. No! <laughs> Some amount of tricks, obviously, or you, you're just not going to beat them, are you? Mm, that's kind of good, but. Fuck my life. Now this one is definitely worth going for. if I make the most of this. I, I really hope that I can. Oh, fuck! Respawn. Go on, get get in there, lad. Get in there. Jesus Christ. Oh, all right, I'm on my tail. So there's two crashes. Right, okay, I'm lost first place. What can I do to get back up to this guy? Not sure at all. Not that. down with that. It's not be enough, is it? Oh, or is it? I don't know, I just let it fucking slip away. Typical. Yes, you can make fuck-ups, but it's just so, it's such a fucking Jeez. awkward thing. I could put it on, on like a, a proper skate track or something. Or on fucking sand and shit. Or I don't know. No, that's actually affecting in how many functions, obviously. But. Oh, no, and I've, I've done that so many times before. It's not even funny. to go for there, but... Oh. 
What? Really? Days. <laughs> like it just seem to have the, the advantage if he knocks into them from behind. I don't know if I can catch up these two. At this, at this point. Nah, no, fuck that. Oh. They didn't. They. I don't think they play tested this very much today. <laughs> So this, this this works, this functions. It's gonna be great. Everyone's gonna love it. Just see how what Squidge thinks about this. Through that guy, never mind. Things don't need to make sense, yo. I might have to just leave this and come back to it already over. I'll just give it one more go and then we'll just we're out of here. Jeez, what <laughs> happened? All right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave it here. We'll come back to this on. Uh, we'll come back to this tomorrow. I can't I can't be doing any of that. <laughs> okay, so we've made. Shut up for a second tomorrow. We've uh, we made some progress. Nine percent. That's not a lot. I don't know. The game seems to be getting harder. So overall, this is, I'm surprised to say this. It feels like Year of the Dragon is the hardest of the three. What started out almost feeling like the easiest of the three. Uh, the difficulty curve is, is a little bit steeper. Um, and it seems to have the most sections in it to be, to be the most annoying. Also the most fun. Not the same things, but it has... It had, of all the things in the trilogy, it had, the most fun things are in this, and also the most annoying things are in this as well. So uh, that kind of gives me mixed feelings about it. Anyway, I'm spent for today on the spray. We'll come back tomorrow and I'll try and get that fucking skateboarding bullshit done. It doesn't feel fun to do. It's like they have to... And of course, with this remake, they haven't... Re they haven't redesigned the wheel. They've literally just taken the original game. Oh, shit, I'm breaking everything. Uh, <laughs> um, they've just taken the original game and just sort of done a remake of it. They're not looking at it in terms of... So this game design is back from, what, 25 years ago. Um, considering that, it holds up quite well, right? It feels like there were some oversights in terms of actual fun. Maybe I'm just a weird old man who struggles at these things. Maybe that's just simply what it is but again we've had a couple of things today and a couple of things other days on this game where it's like i'm doing things in the game like sections and i'm like i'm not actually enjoying this section i'm just i'm just hoping i can get it done to move on which is a problem again that might not be me there might be people who are like oh my god this is so much fun um you know, chasing the dragons and the skateboarding thing and uh, i mean running around as agent nine doing the shooting was fine but it wasn't exactly enthralling right it was kind of fairly mediocre i don't know it is what it is but anyway guys thank you so much for being here 
I appreciate it. And sorry to end on a, a little bit of a not sour note. I'm not I'm not salty or sour about it. Just it's better to end on a uh, a win, isn't it? But you know, it is what it is. But thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Um, what we got here. Let me have a look at this real quick before I do that. Oh, flatly in the Discord. All oh, right. <laughs> A fat spy, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll have a proper look at that in a bit. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, I don't have too much to say. Yes, uh, I should just say thank you to the uh, table making shark for who we did go easy on, whether they were a mother or not. So I hope they got something out of the stream. Thank you for dropping the follow. Thank you to Red Mage for the Dragon King size 100 biddies. Thank you to uh, Jarrett the Hippie for uh, the resub there, bro. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you all for being here. We did make some progress today. Um, it's kind of a, a weird start and we did get distracted running our mouths running my mouth about various things um and we got caught up a bit on certain hang-ups in, in spyro but we'll conquer it tomorrow i don't know i'll complete it tomorrow at this rate but we'll uh we'll come back tomorrow and give it my best shot so thank you all much for being here guys i appreciate you um hope you all uh, have a good rest of your day or evening and i i hope to see you tomorrow and hopefully we'll get this freaking skateboarding done off the bat we'll see until then guys have a good one and take care i'll see you soon